right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, good peeps? How about them tires? LSU polishes off the uh, fourth perfect regular season in history since 1908. Of course, 1908, 1958, 2011. And here in 2019, record-setting year for LSU, man. We were all lucky enough to see it. We're all lucky enough to see it, y'all. So, let's see. Start hitting the share button. Uh, Jordy's on his way. Um, we'll go ahead and hit the share button on all here. Hopefully, y'all will share it as well. We'll get cranked up. Uh, with about six minutes to go in the game, Jordy was on his way, so he should be here sh shortly. Um, He'll come around the back if you can figure out the gate. Now, I'll tell you one other thing we got to be uh, mindful of today for sure. There's a breeze. We're outside on the patio, y'all. This breeze might get legit. All right, I'm hitting the share button. We're going to get rolling. So if y'all would hit the share, please do. Please, please, please hit the share button. We'll get cranked. <laughs> All right, y'all. Cheers. I'll toast with you all till Jordy gets here. His uh, his glasses here, ready ready for him. Uh, got the cigars ready to light. Cheers. Cheers to the Tigers being 12 and 0, man. You kidding me? What a season. Uh, We all, uh, we all will tell the people who come after us, we got to see the 2019 season when Joe Burrow set the SEC single season passing touchdown record, single season passing yardage record, and with hopefully three games to go, uh, he will set marks that will stand for a long ass time. that mug rolling. All right, so let me know your thoughts. Brandon Atchison, what's up, buddy? Chassaw, Charlie Gale, Matthew Rogelio, Jeremy Owens, Keith Torres, what an ass whooping. Ha <laughs> ha, Chris Crochet got the 50, indeed. Set at halftime, I hope they get to 50. Um, I'll give you some observations on the game. Uh, Jeff Swilly, Craig Saylor, what's up? Steve Menard. 50 up there, Donkey, Jessica Trum, Luke Blaylock. What's up, y'all? Chad Chenevere, Jason Lambert. Glad everybody's here, man. Glad y'all are here. DJ, what's up? Travis McGraw, Kelly Hunt, Ellen Gilmore, Mikel Pickett. What's up, y'all? Uh, y'all, I remember um, after LSU finished the 2011 season, uh, of course, it was a perfect season, and I, I remember leaving Tiger Stadium that day, and I, I put on Eagle Game Day and was listening to Hannah Griff. Uh, it was Hannah Griff and Alan Risher doing post game at the time, and Hannah Griff said, I I'm instituting a rule tonight, one night only, but the rule is going to be you can't complain. <laughs> You can't complain because this is something that people have waited their whole lives to see as LSU finish a perfect season. And they did it that, that day in 2011 when they beat Arkansas, and uh, we know that they couldn't finish it. They went and beat Georgia in the SEC championship game, but they ran into Bama. We know how that ended. This feels different, y'all. Um, there's no defense in America that can stop that offense, none. There's no defense in America that is going to completely – completely put the clamps on LSU offensively. And one thing one thing I think is for certain that Dave Aranda proved tonight is that he is still one hell of a defensive coordinator. And LSU may not have great depth. They may be playing a lot of freshmen and, and young guys. 
uh, this season and did tonight, certainly. But, man, you could tell that was a defense that this week got sick and tired of being told they, they were – the, they were the culpability. Like, they were the vulnerability of of this team. Man, they got sick of hearing it, and they went out there and played their ass off tonight, man. And I'm going to tell you what, I know everybody's going to ask. Everybody's going to ask, can LSU get to number one? And my feeling on it is, and I, I'll grant you that I am completely biased in this respect, my feeling on it is absolutely they can. Uh, if y'all listen to AFR, I shared this earlier in the week on AFR. There has never been a year where uh, the rankings in week 14, which was this week, were the same as the rankings that set the semifinal. Now, I'll grant you it's not a big sample size. It's just back to 2014. But there has always been change. And as long as they're playing games, there can be change. How many people... How many people have said, well, they're just trying to get Alabama back in it? Well, look what happened today. Bama went out and lost, and they're out. Bama's done. And I'll tell you this much. This is part of the the equation. We'll talk about this when Jordy gets here. And if you're just joining us, thanks for being here. Please hit the share. Uh, Jordy's on his way. He'll be here any minute. Um, Actually, I think I just heard my my gate open. Actually, I think I heard my gate slam shut. Let's go. Twelve and zero. Let's go. You got that. You got that gate, bro. You all right with that gate? One more to get through. Mm, you need a wine opener. Let's go. Uh, yes. All right, hang on. All right, say hello to everybody. Howdy ho, neighbors. Howdy ho, neighbors. Shout out, David Richardson. Shout out, Joe Burrow. Hell yeah. The uh, Hell yeah. the Cohibas that you liked, I think, are on the right side. Open. Oh, just be careful because there's a couple water in there. So much stuff tonight, man. Records everywhere. Records everywhere. How's everybody doing? LFG, bro. Great. Smells great out here. L. FG. Yeah, Bro, I don't know if you were you watching on the way over. It was a gecko. Um, I gotta no. kill that gecko, y'all. Uh-uh. Don't be offended if you. If the you last thing I saw was the McMath, uh, the uh, racing McMath touchdown. Which, by the way, he's a pro too. Bro, I know. I know people could be offended by that. My apologies if y'all love geckos. I'm sorry, but my wife is deathly afraid. Oh, bro. I got, no, I know, bro. But I told us. I said this one time about how we kill geckos out here, and some people got super offended. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. Like, it's a thing. Anyway, uh, so man, I was look. I, I was. Uh, oh, you gotta open your. I was gonna cheer. I was, here's your. And the, yeah. hey, wait, here you go. I got you. Bro. Check your boy, dog. There you go. I don't know if tonight could have gone any better for LSU. I mean, one thing that might have been able to go better for LSU is start of the second half. Yeah. If the offense could have could have rolled a little better, but you know what, man? What about Cade York. Cade York, two fifty yarders. I mean, uh, you intercept Kellen Mond three times. You hold them to seven points a season low in yardage uh, a week when whenever when you were walking up I was saying you know there's no team that's going to stop LSU offensively there's none cheers cheers to 12 and 0 cheers. everybody raise your glass if you got one cheers 12 to 12 and, and 0 12 and Burrow 12 and Burrow amen to that um, I don't think there's any team that can stop LSU from scoring. And I think this week you saw what a focused, fast LSU defense could do whenever – I think they were sick and tired of being told all week, you're, you're the weak link. The reason you drop from one to two is because of you. We got Ohio because they're a more complete Rob team. Said it. He said it. They're a more complete team because of the defensive piece. By the way, <laughs> yeah. what a giant crock – of shit that we got. I don't know how many times have I said this. 13 goofballs in a room decided they like Ohio State's defense better, 
So you just ignore the fact that LSU's played a monster schedule and beaten everybody just because you think – whatever. I, I ain't starting down that road. This is a this is an awesome night. It's a great occasion. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm fired up for it, dude. I think this LSU – Team is going to go to is going to go to Atlanta next week and, and put a hurting on Georgia. No doubt. I don't think Georgia can. No I don't think Georgia can roll with LSU offensively. They, score with they them. definitely can't score with them. And as good as Georgia's defensive front seven is, they ain't got the horses in the back end to be able to stop LSU en- enough. So, bro, I mean. So the question people the question was can can LSU leap. Ohio State. Give it a good squeeze, bro. Um, and and I think yes because maybe, maybe this week. the the conversation for has been, hey man, uh, Bama, why they're just setting up for Bama to get back? Well, Bama went and lost. And two weeks ago, it was all well, Oregon's Oregon's in Oregon's going to be the four. Oregon's going to be the four. Well, Oregon went and lost. And it's college football, bro. And you got you still got eighteen year old kids and you are with that lighter, bro. <laughs> you ain't got it all, bro. <laughs> uh, and man, I would not be surprised next week if LSU goes and dump trucks number four Georgia. And yeah, Sunday's the only one that matters. And, and, and Ohio State, and Ohio State, either loses to or has trouble second go around with Wisconsin, who since they lost to Ohio State. That got their wake-up call. They lost back-to-back games. They lost to Illinois, ugly loss, and then got skull drug by Ohio State in Columbus, and that was their wake-up call. To their credit, they've played really well since. And I would love to see Wisconsin beat Ohio State, LSU be the one seed, Clemson be the two, Ohio State would still get in as the three, and I think uh, if Utah beats Oregon, they're the four, unless if, unless if Oklahoma... What's going on in that game? Is that six? Yeah, uh, Fox. Oh, shit, I forgot this one. Wow. Oh, look, all right, so Oklahoma's up 34 16. All right, so they're doing work here in Bedlam. They go blow out Baylor next week. They might say, look, we think Oklahoma's the fourth best team. And Oklahoma, we, we're all talking about, about Oregon or Utah. Maybe it's that, you know. You know what, though? Shit on that. Let's talk about LSU, bro. Bro, I, I, you know what I was about to say? Is that Sunday's the only one that matters? We've been screaming that the whole season. Tuesday's nothing but a TV show. If LSU gets to the end of the season, wins the SEC, undefeated, beats Georgia next weekend, does what they did tonight, mm-hmm. like that's what they had to do. If, yeah, if it's so, sure. if it's so subjective now yeah. that you got to go out there and you got to control the game for the entire four quarters, and it matters what your your, your special teams and your defense and everything looks like. LSU couldn't have done any better other than that third quarter drive that you talked about. Um, and then they go beat Georgia. Because I, I feel the same way. I think that they roll Georgia. They're going to roll Georgia. I think they're going to beat the shit out of Georgia next weekend. And when they do, and, and the playoff committee, if they look at that overall body of work yeah. and they keep LSU out of the top spot, it's going to take a hell of an explanation. Yeah. On, I mean, it's going to But you know the take, thing, though, Jordan? I'm with you. It'll, but nobody holds them accountable. They're, they're it. You know, there there is no. Everybody's gonna take their turn getting so screwed. Good. You yeah. love that, don't you? Yeah, but that's you, you everybody's know, gonna but, take their turn. You getting know screwed. what's going? This team right here, I, I'm I'm ready to say it. You can't screw it like that. The Sports Illustrated. Everybody was hitting with the SI jinx. Oh God! How'd that look tonight? How'd that SI There's, jinx look tonight? You know, like this team. Send them to Tempe. Send them. Right. To, send them to Arizona. Like just get them in the Final Four. Yeah. And you tell me that you tell them. There's a trip to New Orleans on the line, and you'll play for the national championship. Doesn't matter if you play Clemson in Arizona or you play them in Santa Clara. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can go play them in Anchorage. It, it, I, I'll, I'll, I'll play with this LSU team yeah. anywhere. Uh, anywhere. Let me get some tape. Hang on. Maybe a little. Uh, I got duct tape. A little hot tie window. Shout, shout out David yep. real quick. I'll put some duct tape on that thing. Shout out David Richardson, our guys at One Stop Shop, 413 3267. Realtor. Contractor, he's got all two di- uh, all types of new projects happening. You can hit him on this Facebook page, um, but really the night's about Burrow, right? I mean, everything. I, I'm sure Moscona talked about it at halftime, and 
Facebook's still screwing up. So, uh, sorry I, were, uh, I wasn't here at halftime and a little late for the post game. But, I mean, the, the, the senior night presentation, that will live on forever, right? I mean, aren't we going to see him pointing to the B-U-R-R-E-A-U-X forever? I mean, I think I'll, I forgot the like and share sign. Son of a bitch. Don't be a square. Hit the like or share. Come on. Damn it. Make sure and tell a friend. Um, but but the image of Burrow pointing to the, 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 the Cajun flared spelling of, uh, of his... I mean, dude, are we going to see that image forever? Burrow? Him coming out for senior night and pointing to the back. So, You'll see that for 100 years. So I was on... 100 years that'll be playing. So T-Bob and I were doing... Still doing pregame, right? Because we go right up to six. And it's funny you said that because that's, that's exactly what I told him. I said, hey, man... Think, think, I want you to think about this. How many, how much imagery do you have seared into your mind from anybody's senior day ever? I mean, how, how many ever, ever? Have you ever? I mean, can you think of anybody? I mean, I, I remember Glenn Dorsey. I remember Kevin Falk. I was sitting in the North End. You know what I mean? I don't remember when when these guys come out for their for their senior day. But nothing, nothing that was just overwhelmingly like, oh man, I'll never. It was cool seeing those guys yeah. go get their ovation. You know, but Burrow pointing, Dude, pointing to the, the whole thing. The, them following him out the tunnel, like they're standing oh, with I didn't him. See that. The, the, first off, shout out to the LSU football social media team yeah, or the all awesome. LSU social media team. This year they're has cr- been a crushed. perfect, perfect time to align themselves, like to take the next step and become like a next level social media type school. Because of what you're witnessing and what you're documenting, right. but then for, for, I mean, like they're standing in the tunnel with Burrow as they call his name, yeah. and they show him running out. They have all well, like the boosters and everybody behind the road he taps. Then he gets to his family. I and thought, it's all I, I, kind of a first hand. Yeah, I thought you meant the, the players followed him out, but no, I know what you with the camera. I saw. Yeah, it. yeah. I mean, but, awesome. but did you see who picked that up? Dellinger has it on SI's for mm-hmm. um, uh, um, what, what, Darren Ravel. Picked it up. He's, he's got it. He's got it on his Twitter. I mean, he's actually commenting yeah. about like the Burrow, like nice play in the brand. Oh like, god, dude! Like that guy. If he ever pays for a meal in this town, in, in the state, ever again, Bro. fuck you. I I, I don't he's, want your food. Like, <laughs> I mean, like shut your place down. I mean, as soon as his eligibility runs up and he pays for a meal, it uh, like that yeah. that, that, that shut the fucking place he's, down, man. He is, he is our. Billy Cannon. He's he's what it is. No doubt. No. When when Billy Cannon left LSU, I don't know. Sixteen if, years ago. I don't know if you read right. I don't know if you read Cannon's book. Yeah. But a lot of Great you know, book, none of us some of you might have been alive then, but I, I doubt anybody watching right now remembers it vividly enough. You'd have to be eighty years old. And maybe some of you are. Shout out to the eighty no, year old fucks out here that are that are watching. Really the, the lady right. at the theater. Yeah. Um but man, I'm gonna tell you what, uh you know, our whole lives, you grow up with Billy Cannon. But so, right when Billy Cannon left school, they immediately retired twenty. Right. It's the same thing with Bob Pettit basketball. Yeah. But it's like you, they knew in that moment what they were watching. They knew what he meant. You know, and it's like we all know right now. Yeah. Like he's gonna, he's gonna go win the Davy O'Brien. He's gonna win the Maxwell. He's gonna go. Well, he might get screwed out of the Maxwell because they don't like to give the Maxwell and the and the Heisman. He, whatever. He, but he's gonna win the Heisman, and so now they'll have to do a, another. They'll have to do a statue. This man's gonna have a statue outside of Tiger Stadium. This man will have Absolutely. a statue outside oh, of Tiger Stadium. His name will be on the facade. It'll be up I mean, there. It'll like be up Burrow there, like, will be up there with Joe Cannon Burrow's and Casanova and Stovall. Live yeah. on I mean, LSU football forever. And tonight will be the image that you see. I mean, that senior night ovation. That who, who came night, up with the idea? He for, did for the EAUS. He was a string fellow oh, on, wow. on Tuesday and said, "I got an idea." Awesome. And they printed out the jersey. Ogeron gave it the green light on Thursday. I mean, like it's it's it's, it's perfect. Magic. By the way, I got to shout out uh, Mickey Martin. Spirits, wine and spirits guy over at Ralph's Market. Came up to AFR yesterday with Jay Dakota. Poured us some Pappy 23. I mean, Pat, I know you may not give a shit. Pappy, I, I mean. But if I, I, if, I know you do. If I went to, a, I let, 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 if I went to a restaurant and someone was lucky enough to have a bottle of Pappy 23, they'd charge me $400 for an ounce. Wow. Okay, like that's, 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 our, anyway, so like. 
to- toast into a 12 and 0 LSU team. Got brought in Pappy 23 in studio. So it was awesome. Anyway, he uh, cheers, bro. He he gave me a few of his samples of uh, this is a Buffalo Trace barrel pick they had at Ralph's, and it's it's amazing. So he gave that was the first. I'm drinking the second one right now. So cheers to you, Mickey Martin, if you're watching, man. I appreciate you, bro. Um, do you want to talk? Do you want to talk any about the game? I got. Yeah, I you. love the fact that they Bru- fucking skull. Oh me. god! Like, do you, I, I love. I gotta show you that this. that that they talked about that game one week ago tonight. Like, started talking about that game. And there was a, a miniature storyline within the week on, are, are they putting too much in it? And, and I kind of bought in a little, little bit, like, that for a team that stayed so singularly focused all season long, why start looking over? I mean, like, They were singularly focused. I know. On this game. I know. They weren't focused I on and I still Georgia think, I still or think they're play up. Or, they are going to beat the hell out of Georgia. And that was my, that was my concern. Right. Like, you dump all this, this, this effort, this energy into this week and going out and getting revenge. But, dude, it was really nothing like that. Right. It was just LSU was the better team, even down to, like, the penalties. Yeah. Like, tonight, I, like, like. First play of the game. First, first play, play of the game. First play of the game. They, they rough burrow, gives you 15 yards. Uh, now, now LSU's first defensive snap, old boy, 72, w- yeah. was off sides. Yeah, was, dude. Uh, he was, but, but he's had such a great but year. But he, he had a great year. Um Mon with the ground. They harassed Kellen Mon all night long. But I'm I'm gonna get this final box score. We'll go through stats. But I'll tell you this much, man. When I, I'm so I, you know I get off pregame at, at six. So the game your game starts at six oh five. I'm walking out. Of so I always listen to the first ten minutes. You know, real time. It's usually a drive, a possession. I'm listening to heading home. And bro, I'm I'm listening as they're doing a coin toss, and A and M wins the toss and defers. I said, <laughs> no, no, I said no, no. you're when fucked. I, when I saw, I went, I was you're like, fucked. What are? The... I said you're fucked. I was like, so you're gonna put this. I, said, I was like, you're I was put like, this guy in the field. Put the point. I was like, you're down seven nothing. <laughs> I was like, that is the dumbest shit. I mean, yeah, I get it. it was... You think oh, I'm getting the ball to start the second half? Yeah, okay, right. okay, okay. But yeah. I'm telling you, you just sat there and saw the ovation. I, I'm telling you, you're down seven you're nothing. Put this guy on the field. You're fucking down seven nothing. You idiot. And I then mean, boom, boom. boom. They, they, they had the, the personal foul. Jefferson converts. Then they throw up the 33 yarder to Chase, and then and then Clyde gets in the end zone. And it's like I mean, bang, bang, bang. Boom, two minutes. Bang. Two minute drive. It's like two minutes, you're down seven nothing. By the way, here comes fifty right up <laughs> your donkey. I mean, I'm like he wanted sixty. Uh, I, I I almost thought that he pulled him out of possession early. I, I did he, too. I thought he was gonna get I think he wanted the you know, I thought that he wanted the SEC loan spot. Yeah, they did. And I thought he wanted to hang sixty. I'll tell you this I much. He to hang 60 I'll tell you this one. much. The, the that's what's the, there were two possessions. Inside the five, where Clyde had a rushing touchdown and Ty Davis Price had a rushing touchdown, either one of those times they could have got Burrow a cheap one. They they could have yeah. they could have bootleg yeah, and just ma- moss, moss yeah, just bing, right, right, you know, right. and and they 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 let Clyde and they let Ty Davis Price score and that was cool and I'm I'm with it, but they had a, they had a shot to get Burrow the yeah. the touchdown record but alone. I, I, you know, and, and look, forty four is kind of a sacred number now at LSU for for him yeah. to end the season on forty four. I, I mean, yeah. I, I kind of thought, like, when I saw that, like, wow, man. I mean, just it, it, it's just kind of a this, this, yeah. This I got you. Story, you know what I, I mean? got you. Now, he's still got hopefully three more games, right? And he will obliterate the yardage and touchdown records if he gets three more games. Yes, he he may put it at a point where it's untouchable. But I mean, didn't you feel like ten couches was untouchable? Well, maybe not because we've seen guys hit four thousand. Tua, Tua might have broken it last year had he played into the you know through the fourth quarter. You know they were so good for nine weeks yeah. that he you know, he didn't see the fourth quarter. But um, Tua got screwed last year. He did. Tua got screwed out of Heisman last year. Uh, Burrow ain't getting screwed. Man. It's, <laughs> if they screw him, explain how, yourself. How about, because you give know, me that vote back. Do, do you know like the the put? So just to be clear about this, the push all week was especially from Joe Clad and douches like that <laughs> was was Chase Young right? So. Two things. Number one, Chase Young threw up a bagel today. Yeah. Nothing. Number two, um, uh, there's a lot of voters that won't put Young on their ballot because he was suspended. Yeah. There's a, and yeah. you can't win the Heisman if you have a group of voters that just don't vote and for you. Because it's, it's field a, split votes from the m- same team. Maybe so. And I, Dobbins. I, I think. But the other thing, too, is, Jordy, like, we know the, the Heisman is no longer a mystery. Because it's so sophisticated, especially with Vegas, they, they they'll take straw polls. They know who's voting. Like the guy Chris Houston, the Heisman pundit guy, he he would go, 
take straw polls of every Heisman voter, and he would announce the winner. So the Heisman paid him and said, like, we want you to stop doing this because you're ruining it. You know, and he just did it out of love with the Heisman. So they hired him. So he does all the media now. This guy, Chris Houston, it's he's on to, I think, at Heisman Pundit. Like, when me and Ennis were doing a, uh, uh, Fastest Best Hour, <laughs> we'd have Chris Houston on every year, and he would tell us who wins the Heisman Trophy. And he, 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 got, he could write it for like, yeah, that would. like 15 years in a row. The guy never missed because he would go take straw polls of the Heisman voters. He'd get their ballots. He knew how it would go. So they, so, but my point is, Vegas is still going to get those voters. The the second best odds is Jalen Hurts. That's who you got to worry about. If if Burrow would have shat his pants and Hurts would have thrown, gone yeah. for five hundred yards and he caught a touchdown pass in this game tonight, you know that that would have been the guy who maybe had a shot. Not Chase Young, but that's Joel Klatt and other people trying to drum up a storyline like I've been talking about for two weeks. So whatever. Yeah. No. Douche noggles, bro. bro. He's running away with. Oh yeah, it. it's it's I mean, it's, like it's over. Shaquille O'Neal in 01 of the MVP voting. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, like, uh, how does he not get it? Um, so anything else stand out from the game tonight? I thought Delpit looked. I thought Delpit had a little bounce to him. Paul Landry, Johnson City, Tennessee. What's up, y'all? Uh, hey, I'm just trying to give some people shout outs. We sure. appreciate y'all watching. I if you got that, I forgot the if you like or share. Uh, it's don't all right. Be don't be a square. Don't be a square. Hit the like or share. It happens, but I ain't worried about it. Um, so standouts from the game. Um, like I said, them deferring was stupid. Uh, LSU. Oh, I got another one, bro. There's two guys on this team that have made the most money in the last month. Clyde and Caleb on. Yeah. Clyde. So Mike, did you hear Mike Dettelier today? Uh-huh. So I was talking to Mike, and Mike. Mike said this on air, but I'll tell you a little more candidly. Mike and I were texting. Uh, Clyde's Clyde's gone for sure. Um, and Clyde wanted to come back, and. I think Ogeron, and good for Ed, was like, hey, man, yeah, like, it. you're a running back, wear and tear, your stock is high, like, this is when you got to go. Mike told us on air that um, he talked to one NFL owner that has Clyde as a, as a first-round grade, and there's a handful of GMs that have him as the number one running back on their board. Mike's got him as a second-round grade right now. There's no way Clyde's getting out of the top two rounds. I went to, so, the, I went to the Carolina game last weekend. Yeah. Every time Christian McCaffrey touched the ball, I thought he made more money. Clyde did. I, I think That's he, a good point. I mean, yeah, that's I, I a good point. When you look at Christian McCaffrey and you watch Clyde play, they don't look like they're the strongest and fastest yeah. on the field, but then you give them the ball and they pull away and you can't tackle them. Kamara? I mean, uh, look, look, look at what Look at what running backs in the NFL are popping now. It's it's them. It's guy. They're using Clyde as a wide receiver. The, Jordan, this is the most underrated part of Clyde's game that I saw for four years at Catholic. No it's in part why John Emery can't get on the field too. Yeah. Is Clyde Clyde's a receiver? Yeah. Did you see it? it whenever in, in the third quarter, LSU came out with that second possession. Remember, this is after they kind of like A and M kind of like locked them up a little bit. They had a punt. They started getting some pressure. Like they were. Uh, there was the series where LSU went sack, holding, sack. Remember, like, and what it was a good adjustment by Elko. He stopped bringing pressure, started playing yep. coverage. They started yep. getting yep. covered yep. sacks. Yep. Well, LSU was still running guys on routes, and then yep. he had nowhere to go. The adjustment, which was beautiful, that Brady and Ensminger made was they said, "All right, we'll flex Clyde out. We'll, just, we'll run short routes. You're gonna play coverage. Fine. We're gonna dump underneath your zone." And then they hit, that's when they hit Clyde. Uh, Clyde hit a. Uh, they hit Clyde for a shit, an eighteen yard catch and run. Then Clyde had the Clyde caught the ball on, on the the record breaker. Yeah, for Burrow. Yeah. So it so that was the that was yeah, the adjustment. Seven yard. It, it was yep. a great adjustment. But anyway, um, Clyde Clyde and then and Chasson. But Chasson Chasson had two sacks. He should have had a third. He got mugged on one where I I didn't chart it, but um, but he wreaked havoc tonight. He was all over the place. Um, Demone Clark got a sack tonight. Uh, three three interceptions. Delpa can't. Delpa got a pick. Stevens. Uh, St- Stevens pick. Yeah, you should batted it down. You lo- you lose twenty yards of field yeah. position by kick, but I get it. I mean, I can tell a guy don't intercept the ball, and then even Stat pass. Y- your, your boy your boy five even got one tonight too. Um, you know what a play that I wanted to point out that Burrow made was the first play or the opening drive of the second quarter, where and this to me is where Burrow has made such an improvement from this year to last year. I got it. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. You know, where he just, the, the simple sidestep, he, he, he went back, up, back, back, keeps his eyes off you. And he came up again. McMath is right McMath. there, hits Racy right. Which, by the way, Racy McMath's a pro. Yes. He just can't get on the field because yeah. there's too many pros above, above it, him. 
It was it was second and ten. He got McMath for nine yards. How good and, was that play? And, and then on third and one, they gave it to, to Ty Davis Price. How good oh, was that play? Yeah, beautiful play. But that's but that's the thing when you try to explain to Burrow. And so like I, when I do radio interviews, I'm sure you know like whenever so so and so radio wherever calls you to do an interview, and they and they'll say like, man, Burrow, it's like is this just how much of this is just the <laughs> how much of this is just the is the system right the number I'm like. Yeah. There's no doubt it's part of the you know Absolutely. they're not running too tight and it's a yeah you know, but but the thing what, what but system alone doesn't make you a first round pick if that were the case fucking every kid from Hawaii and Texas Tech would have right. been a first round pick right. you know that's it ain't the system it's plays like the one you referenced Burrow's like a Tetris piece in the pocket he's he's constantly moving up back over avoiding pressure keeping his eyes down how many plays has he made this year. Doing exactly oh that with well, the thirty seventeen to Texas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was that was where our eyes went. Oh. And I thought that Blackwich pointed out exactly what he's doing back there. Fuck. Because you talk about a lot of those system guys and what they're looking and trying to evaluate. Yeah. They got one or two reads. You know, they two, show me your own face. Three reads. I posted the link in the huddle. Uh, I mean, I posted the link in the in the comments. Um, dead soxy. Get bro, your dead soxy. I need to get a pair of those. Oh, come up to my office, bro. I got some. Um, Bro, they are. Look at this. Look at uh, this. That, they're a, still I mean, up. They don't fall. That's what, that's, I got it's a here. fucking magic yeah, trick, man. Play. I'm telling you. Uh, Y'all go get you some dead socks, bro. Uh, promo code AFR nine AFR one nine for Bogo or promo code Go G A U X for twenty five percent off. Uh, what am I doing here, bro? There it is. I'm trying to get some comments. Um, you were talking about uh, Burrow stepping up and. We were talking about Burrow making money and, you know, how his system didn't make Burrow. And you were talking about McMath being a pro. McMath is a pro, man. I mean, how good is the wide receiver core going to be next year? Well, you think Jefferson's gone? Yeah. Right, so Jeff- same, so, same argument that you have for Clyde. Yeah. So you got Chase Marshall, <coughs> McMath, and then you got, bro, you got Palmer and these guys who couldn't get on yeah, the field exactly. this year, Absolutely. you know? And then whoever they have coming in next year, I'm sure it'll be free shows. Yeah, so you know, they're looking at this going. The Rakeem Jarrett kid. Yeah, Rakeem Jarrett, right? I mean, good Lord. Um... Yeah, they're fine. I mean, the Coy Moore kid down at Rommel. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be. They're is he going? Fine. Is he coming to LSU? Yeah, he's committed. He's committed. Okay. Yeah. The, you know, there was one other play, and we'll get we'll get some of y'all's comments. Um, Chris Blades, what's up, man? Mikel Pickett, Jason DeRoche, Devin Kelly. Uh, Devin asked if Burrow will be the number one overall pick. If, if Cincinnati, if Cincinnati has the pick, I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's. Uh, did we talk about this last week? It's the same. It's the same premise as when the Rams moved from. Yeah, St. Louis, Louis to L.A. To LA with, golf. with golf. It was golf, golf and Wentz. It's like, who do you want to be the face of your franchise in L.A.? The kid from North Dakota or the kid from Cal? The California kid, the blonde-haired California kid. I mean, this. I mean, if since he has the first pick, you're drafting the kid from Ohio who Sprint wins the, the card. Up oh, fuck. I mean, it's Sprint no doubt. The one other play that I thought was awesome, um, and this was at a point in the game, I mean, it was 21 nothing. It was the drive you talked about, the McMath. That was that was Ty Davis Price's drive, mm-hmm. and they'll give Ty usually he two scored. two drives a game. He did yeah. score, yeah. but they had a fourth and one. Yeah, and, they had and fourth and one. one. Not not only did they not hesitate, I love the fact that they didn't hesitate. Yeah. Like there was, it, was hurry up it, there. it wasn't even look to the sideline. They knew if they got a fourth down, they were going for it. And with Ty Davis Price in the game, zero hesitation yeah. not only to go for it but to give Turn him to but to give him gut. the ball yeah. right side. True freshman, game 12, you hand the ball to, to Ty Davis Price on fourth and one and say, go get me a yard. Bro, like, they trust him. Yep. They trust him. Yeah, like, yeah. it's they aren't holding anything back with Ty Davis Price in the game. It's They they trust him, you know? They got a uh, – Did we mention York? Yeah, I did. Cool. Right off the top. I mean, he can't hit two 50-yarders. 51, a 51 and a 50. Okay. So so this season he's got, he's got a 52, a 51, and a 50. I'm going to tell you what, man. The the fifty yarder he hit came at a time where LSU had a bit of a drought. They were sitting on thirty four for a minute. A and M scored, and all of a sudden it's thirty four or thirty one nothing. And you're like, oh, come on, man. And then he boom, he boomed that one, man. I was Oklahoma like, Oklahoma rolled uh, wins. All right, that's over. All right, what else? Oh, you know what? I, you boys got you boys got a few uh, pending wagers. Who we got? Arizona State laid the twelve and a half, and then I took uh, UCLA in a pick 'em against. Uh, Against uh, Cal, I think that's on six. No, that ain't six. What channel is that? One, one, Cal? one, oh, six. Cal UCLA. That's probably FS one, huh? Yeah. 
Got I got I got UCLA in a pick'em. Hey, come on, fighting Chip Kelly's. Cash that ticket, bro. Battle of the Bears. Mm-hmm. Speaking of Bears, so are we going? Yeah, how about them, bro? How about them? Hit me. I mean, hit me. So are they not playing in the dome? They're not. Ugh. Playing at Yulman Friday. What time? I don't know. Friday night. Wow. Way to go, LHSA. Yeah, hey, LHSA principals, suck a dick. How do you screw that up? Fuck. Yeah, How do you screw yeah, that up? Man. It's easy, bro. Everybody gets a trophy. Get your feelings hurt. You know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this much. I, I, well, we ain't going to talk about this, but I've always respected the hell out of, out of JT Curtis because even when he was sitting there beating the hell out of everybody in two-way, he'd say, yeah, I'll play five. I'll eight. play wherever you want me to play. And, I'll play, just tell me where and when, when the state of Louisiana is down, I'll go play teams in Arkansas yeah. and Alabama. I'll Let's go play go. Hoover. Let's go. I mean, he took Joe McKnight and yeah. then went and played Hoover right. High. I know. Good for him, bro. Yeah, I'm with you, bro. I'm, I'm with, with you. you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I mean, <laughs> he's like cheating his ass off getting players from all over to house him in River Ridge and shit, but whatever. The Catholic Island like roster looks pretty good right now, too. I don't think Catholic has anybody that's a major D1 player. In ninth and 10th grade, they do. Oh, do they? Bro, they're... Good. Whew, Are they? Good. Their JV roster good. is Let's sick. roll. Let's roll. Yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> got to play Curtis every year, bro. <laughs> uh, Terry Jamison, Joseph Labatt, Colby Hester. Uh, you know what? This is Marquise Robinson. So Mo Hampton could play. He frees up the elbow to his normal role. Mo Hampton got in a couple of uh, bro, a couple plays. Flying. He's hitting half. people, bro. I love his first play. He came in. He came and filled the hole. Shot like a bullet. Came up and made the play. I'm telling you. The first thing I thought to myself was, is that he's a football player. Yeah. Everybody tells me he's a baseball, baseball player. That cat's a football yeah. player. He's going to make a lot more money playing baseball. I guess. I mean, but if he loves football, he can play it. He can be a pro. I mean. He's going to make a lot more money playing baseball. What's he, a center fielder? I mean, you're a five, you're a five tool guy in baseball. Make a lot more money playing baseball. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about CTE either. Make sure um, and like and share. Yeah. What about what about that kid from Mandeville missing that kick for Alabama? You know that kid went to Mandeville <laughs> High. Is that what's in Robert Boudreau, Matt, you smoking a blunt? No, it's what's it's what's left of my <laughs> that would cigar. Be a bold move, it's what's bro. left of my cigar. <laughs> it's not be, a blunt. That would it's, be a hell of a move. It's a Cohiba. It's I a mean, Cuban. it was it was a big night we are celebrating, but to puff, <laughs> to puff a couple of fatties live on Facebook would be a hell of a move. That'd be bold. Yeah. All right, let me see. Marcel Brooks, Dre Simmons brought that up. Marcel I mean, Brooks looked bro, good, man. He's another one. You just uh, uh, go, go, go run, go tackle, see ball, hit ball, brother. Whatever you see, go blow it up. I mean, he comes in flying. When you when you have Caleb on and Marcel Brooks coming off the – that is some speed, cuz. And then they were running those stunts with Caleb on. <laughs> well – Earlier this year, they weren't getting pressure for shit, and Aranda had to get creative, and he started yeah. running, running oh, yeah. their stunts, yeah. and it's been it's they, worked. They, they it's don't been have awesome. That one-on-one guy. They don't. Um, they don't one-on-one guy. Yeah. You know, all right. One other thing. One other thing. By the way, you want, I got some beef jerky. If you want some beef jerky, you, yeah. No? What? Do I look hungry? Uh, if just if you do, I'm just. I got some chips down there too. Just being a good host. Come on, bro. <laughs> um, what is this, blunts? <laughs> Get some brownies. <laughs> uh, not really. Um, hit the share button, please. Uh, the other. Um, oh, all right. I I took I, I took the video from my screen and tweeted it. What? The asshole from A and M in the first quarter, the linebacker who who flopped. Oh, my all right, dude. Like, all right. What did you see? Oh, looking at their sideline. Like, it, yeah, oh, oh, did this to the yeah. sideline. Yeah, like, two plays later, he scored. He's like, <laughs> I'm in. I love if, it. If you don't think Ed, if you don't think this motherfucker wanted to go pile drive that team after last year with Damian Craig sprinting across the field and getting in his face and then some kid punching Kevin Falk, I mean, bro, it, if you don't Jimbo's think. Jimbo's cousin. I mean, Jimbo's nephew. If you don't think. Ed Osier, Ed, the the guy who in the post game locker room against Alabama said "Roll Tide, what fuck you?" Like you don't think that the do you the, know when they when they announced that Auburn and Alabama score this went nuts? Uh, the student section started saying "Roll Tide, what fuck you?" <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love it. But if if like 
the Red Bull can smashing shirt yeah. ripping guy. Like he still exists. He's very polished now when he needs to be. Yeah. But behind closed doors, that guy ain't gone nowhere. And I thought he took a little bit of the polish off last week when Fuck he was yeah. asked about AM in the in the post game. We were he, supposed to beat Arkansas. And we'll, and, and we'll be ready with that laugh, with that psycho killer laugh. Like, bro, they oh. were out for blood tonight. And when they had like when when they saw a crack, that's why they don't. A and M didn't know what they were walking they, into. Bro. Uh, everybody I talk, I don't know if it's the same for you. Everybody I talked to this week, everybody from A and M, when I asked, man, is it is the vibe like contentious? They're like, not really. You know, I'm like, you sure? I'm like, bro, I wouldn't come out. I'm here. like, you better wake the fuck up because you're walking into a buzzsaw. And so that's why whenever when they want to toss and defer, I was like. Like, Y'all don't get it. I was like, you just fuck. You, yeah, you, don't, get you don't get it. You, you don't, don't get it. But there was, I got I to tell you this, man. I mean, like, if you didn't recognize the emotion of senior night after just what you saw with Burrow, and did you not pay attention to the media this week? I, I mean, like, it wasn't bro, just Try Ozan to tell on. him. Try to Clyde, tell him. Ever, Clyde. I mean, everybody was. I mean, even Burrow's remarks in the post game last week. Bro, Olin Buchanan is a Tex Ags guy. And Olin. Had one of these like huh, huh, tweets earlier this week. He tweeted, "LSU players talking like they plan to score seventy on A and M this week, which of course still wouldn't have been enough to win last year." Oh. Credit Leah Musgrave yeah, for dude, that. that. So is... I I quote tweeted oh, I quote God. tweeted Olin at the end of the first oh. quarter. I said, "I said they're pacing for eighty four. Ask Leah <laughs> if that would be enough." Like they didn't get it, bro. They just they didn't get it. Well, like. Well, that, next year, maybe everybody goes back to being like more of a cordial rivalry. It's like this was fu- was fuck you. Yeah. Like this is gonna hurt. Yeah. Like our plane landed in New Orleans at five o'clock and we had to wait for a bus. I mean that was a uh, that was a uh, we're gonna skull drag you tonight. And yeah, I said earlier this week, if you're up in the air and you're thinking about coming to Baton Rouge for the game, save your cash for the bowl. Like, don't waste your money. Don't waste... Like, this This ain't going to be a game. It ain't going to be fun. I don't know, man. You, you were in the stadium. What was it like in the stadium? Oh, no, I wasn't. No, no, no. I didn't go. Oh, you um, did No, no. Um, but, I mean, you know, I'm sure it was... I'm sure it was... It was It was hairy for a couple of people. Not, not to say it was hostile, but... I mean, shit. Last year, we'll live on with this, this group. They will not forget about last year. I mean, like... Man, how could you, bro? Shit, man. That was... Whoop! Whoop! Uh, the, did the Georgia... Ha! Is LSU a, a minus two and a half? I haven't seen a line. Have you? I mean, somebody, they're saying that it's opening up. At two minus two and a half? Lay the points. I mean, like, take them. Take the Tigers. Lay the points. Take the Tigers. Uh, this, I mean, especially... Did you see... I mean, Lawrence Cager ain't playing. And then... And then Pinkney, yeah, Georgia... Pink. Not Pinkney, uh, it's a... Um, uh, yeah, the freshman. That the freshman a, receiver got in a fight today. I mean... Who's their number two guy? With uh, uh, Swilling. With Swilling's kid. Yeah, was getting into it with Swilling. Yeah. Threw him into the wall. Yeah. What's uh, his name? George, uh, George I'm, Pickens. I'm, Pickens, thank you. George Pickens. Yeah, I was like, I knew it was with a pick. Him and uh, Stingley have been going back and forth for years on the camp circuit. Well, no Lawrence Cager... No pickings for the first half. So DeAndre I, Swift got hurt today. Yeah, I got news for you, Coach. He, he looked hurt. If uh, LSU, if the LSU defense that played today shows up in, oh, in a Georgia dome, blow them out. I'm blow them out. Um, but but I watched their defense, and I'm not look. I'm not. They're good. They're good. I'm not saying that. But all it like I, all through the year, like not giving up a rushing touchdown until they faced Auburn and. They can guard LSU on the outside. No, they can't. I don't see that. They like, up front, they 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 could be an issue. T- I'm they could what? be an issue. Their I front watched, seven could be an issue. I watched the entire game with A and M, and in the second half, when the rain stopped last week, and A and M was down and started to go tempo, that was a problem for Georgia because they couldn't match up with Rodgers and Courtney Davis and those. I'm like. You can't match up with Rodgers and Courtney Davis. I'm like, what are you going to carpet? Yeah, no, no, on that turf. no, that was no, in Athens. Oh saying, yeah, no, I got you. I got you. Like, what are you going to do with Jefferson and Chase and Marshall and Clyde and on on turf? I mean, oh man, come on. 
take the take the two lay, and a half. Lay, lay the points. Lay, lay the points, bro. Lay the lay points. Them. I mean, lay them. Lay them all. They're coming, man. Um. All right. Let's see. Uh, what else we got here? I'm gonna get some of y'all here. Uh, Josh Yarbrough, what's up? Um. Lawrence Corbin, any Damian Craig sightings? I mean, he was right in Jimbo's back pocket. He was all over the TV tonight. Justin Falcon, would you have hung seventy two on him for fun? I would. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I, I, I thought that he was going to leave Burrow in there for a series or two longer. I don't know what happens if Texas A and M doesn't score. I will say this: I liked what I saw out of Miles Brennan for the first time in a while. Like seeing him out there and throwing the ball. I mean, that's kind of who he is. Get like, like rip it and rip it. I, anyone that has any commentary on <laughs> Brennan. For the ball first team was in there with him for the, uh, his first series. Because the, the, they, they took Burrow out mid series. But he threw his first completion was to nineteen. Derek Dillon. Dillon ain't a first teamer. Well, I mean, fuck. But, but the first team line. All right, but I'm okay I mean, with that. I mean, Burrow's Burrow's, okay la- Burrow's last pass was complete to Dillon. Okay, I mean, keep keep him upright. That's fine. Yeah. With the line, but I'm talking about. I want to see him throw to one Jefferson. and two and six. And 81 and 22. Like, let me see him function with those guys. Not 19 and 17 and 4 and 24. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, how can I judge that guy? Like, anybody who's judging Miles Brennan based on what he did with right. all the backups in a run out the game scenario, give me, like, the ball, he, the touchdown to McMath? Dude, the touchdown to McMath was a fucking dart. It was. Like, I mean, and McMath just big boyed it away. McMath just pulled it, turned. There was oh, nobody there. He's like, all right, see you. I mean, they, dude, they were playing. They were playing at the line of scrimmage, thinking, all right, just gonna run the ball. And the Ogeron was like, no, we ain't. Here it comes, bro. Here, it, up your donkey. Um, let's see. Uh, Matt Leonard is Swift gonna play? I don't know if Swift's gonna play, man. So, I, my guess is he's gonna try to give it a go. But, bro, he, he took his shoulder pads off in that game today and was sitting on the side. Like, maybe they just knew they had bigger fish to fry and they were just chilling with him. But, um, I mean. Kirby, he, said that, Kirby said in the post game that he, he thinks he's going to be all right. He didn't look right. He didn't look right. He didn't look right. He didn't look right for sure. Matt, get a, Oh, fuck. God damn it. Fucking ash, dude. Got ash all over my pants. I might end up taking my pants off by the time it's over. Easy, man. It's that kind of party. Um, uh, Adam Bolin, Josh Lewis, Bama missing the playoffs is great. So, now, let me ask you this. Cause so, here here was my take on the Bama thing. I, I, as hard as it is to cheer for Alabama, I believe from a playoff standpoint, all right? So, I'm thinking... All right, committee looking at LSU's resume. I want my best win to look awesome. And Bama losing today takes a little of that luster off of that Bama win, man. You know, like, now it bolsters the, it bolsters the Auburn win. That's the counter. But I want my best win to look awesome. But what the, what, what the corner that the committee has painted themselves into with Bama is that the subjective vote all season long Bama has gotten the benefit of the doubt because they had played nobody, yeah. and the only time they did was LSU, and they lost. they lost. And they really didn't suffer any consequence for that. They, they stayed in the top five. They dropped one spot. And then you go into Auburn a day, you compete, but you lose. You lose. So really that takes that subjective corner you painted yourself into, and you kind of say on Monday morning or Tuesday when they get into that room and you say, hey, man, look, I mean, the, the Alabama example of us saying that just because they hadn't played anybody and their reputation has kept them up there all season long, we still have to look at LSU. And, I mean, we, we, we held them so high. Yeah. I mean, LSU still rolled into their backyard yeah. and, and beat them. Maybe. I, I don't think you need <coughs> that explanation from Mullen. What, what type of explanation Mullen. do you get from him? I, I, it's going to be that the Alabama win isn't as impressive anymore. I, I, the, their explanation this week was defense, right? Yeah, Ohio the State's team. a more complete team because of the defensive piece, right? That's what he said. Like, all right, well, just held A&M, by the way, to 40, 40 yards, yards in the, at halftime. 40 yards. They finished with A&M finished Under with. 200, huh? A&M finished with 169 of huh. total offense. You just held A&M to seven points and 169 yards of total offense. How's that for a defensive piece, bitch? Like, for, like. 
for an offense that was being what are we talking like, for for an offense that was averaging four hundred yards a game? You held them to one sixty nine a game. All right. So, oh hell. Um, how's that for a defensive piece? Now, now when LSU goes to Atlanta, and this this is my point, bro. Like. LSU curb stomps Georgia next week right. in Atlanta, which I think they will do, because I don't think Georgia can stop LSU, and Georgia sure as shit can't score with no, LSU. They can't, but they can't run with them. And then the other the other side of that is if Wisconsin goes and plays Ohio State tight, now what? Now, by the way, one of the wins that the committee talked about with Ohio State was Cincinnati, I mean. a top. 19 win. I've never because heard, I've everybody's never heard, used that justification. I've never heard the term Fuck top 19. Stupid. By the way, LSU had three top 15 wins. Anyway. Top none 19. The, right. Nonetheless, what? Cincinnati loses to Memphis. They're out. They're out of the top 25. See ya. You know? I mean, and Texas won and might sneak in at 25. Might. Maybe not. But they'll have. A, there's going to be one, one team there... A seven-win team in the top twenty-five. They may not be there. It may it may take a, a bowl game or something like that. But they may be the t- you know the team. Virginia Tech lost is going to drop. Cincinnati lost is going to drop out. I'm looking at those teams twenty twenty-five. So Texas, if they bump back in, it's another quality. That's win. another ranked win. I'm like, bro, like anyway. Fuck. Give me that Heisman. Give me that one seed and get the fuck out of the way. Would you I mean, want to like, play? I'm curious, dude. I'm curious to see, man. We're all we're all planning Utah now. I'm, Baylor, Oklahoma. What if what if Oklahoma, if Oklahoma blows out Baylor, which I think they will do. By the way, do you? I do. It was a one score game last time, wasn't it? In Waco, Baylor in, in Waco. Baylor had a, a three score lead, yeah. and Oklahoma came back and won it. Yeah, I remember. and I, we were, I, think, I think we were right here. We were. I think we were watching. We Baylor. were, and I think. I think with Oklahoma having more focus this go round, knowing what's on the line, I think they wax them. They, they look they they won in Bedlam today. I, I mean, bro, I just I think Oklahoma they won thirty four sixteen today, and I think they're going to go route Baylor next week and make that push. And if Utah loses to Oregon, you're going to have one. LSU, two Clemson, three Ohio State. If they struggle or lose, and then four Oklahoma. But you know, you know, be some shit. If Ohio State loses and they put Ohio State four, and you get one LSU, four Ohio State in Atlanta. Come get it. Come get it. I want it. Now, I mean, bro. like uh, this. I watch. I watch. I, I, I watch Michigan everywhere. I watch Michigan. Michigan go up and down the field Michigan, on Ohio State. Today. Like, yeah, give me a break, man. Come get it. Come get it. I mean, like, nine will travel anywhere. Sports Illustrated jinx. SI jinx. SI, SEC record yardage, touchdowns, ties the record, 44. Red what O'Keefe. What are we watching, man? How much I mean, fun will Coach O have calling recruits in Texas tomorrow? Oh, dude, right now. <laughs> right tomorrow. They're, they're, in, the, they're right. in the building right now. What do you now. think he's doing right now, bro? Did you see that recruiting hall that was in right now? They, first off, they huh. have the number one quarterback in the country, Caleb Williamson, on campus right now. Benefit of borough season. I mean, no like, you, for him to be there, see that. Yeah. Think about it. Yeah. We've been You're watching right. LSU football for 30 years, and we'll talk about tonight forever. Think about if you saw it for the first time and you were that, their top recruit. That's what you saw, yeah. I mean, they're going to get him. He's from the state of Washington. Like He's a 2020 kid? 2021. 2021. All right. But but the, the, the recruiting. They're going to dump Max Johnson. They love Max Johnson. But they love Max Johnson. Like, they love Max More than Finley? I think so. I think Shit, so. Dude, I thought Johnson wasn't even going to end up playing quarterback. Whatever. All right. Come on, the Eric King, whoever. Come on, whoever. Like, whoever. The, but that's that's where you are recruiting. Is that you're now telling guys that you can't take them. Like the Marcus Dumerville thing. He's a silent commit. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna get him. Pepperoni stick. Yeah. Um, if LSU had Ohio State schedule, yeah. LSU had the same stats, if not better. So that's the other thing too. When you don't play an offense within the top 50 nationally, you realize 
Ohio State came in with the number one Iverstein. Oh yeah, Casey. Ohio State came in with the number one defense in the country. Michigan had the number four defense in the country. Huh. Those two teams combined for 900 yeah, yards like of offense yards. And, and 90 points. Like, imagine what happens when you fucking play good teams, dick faces. LSU. Not FAU and whoever the fuck they play. I, 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 uh, Illinois. What? Indiana. Indiana's Cincinnati. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty um. Good. Larry Bueller. Shit. Don't be a square. Hit the like or share. Shout out David Richardson. 413-3267. He's a realtor and a contractor. One-stop shop. He's also on the Facebook po- uh, post. Make sure and like and share it there. Uh, and also follow our boy. Shout out David Richardson, your uh, your host sponsor. Johnny Lombardi. And by the way, Bama's, Bama's not going to Rose Bowl. Bama's going to the Sugar, Sugar Bowl. Bowl. Uh, or Florida. If you're the Sugar Bowl, you want Bama or Florida? Bama. I mean, a disinterested Bama? Both are 10 and 2? I, I, I guess Who's going to be ranked higher? When you stack name brands next to each other. Who's going to be ranked higher? they got to take the higher ranked team. Bama's going to drop. Florida's going to move up. How much do you think they drop them? I don't know, man. Seven. No two. All right. Um, OU or Utah? Johnny Lombardi. OU or Utah? OU. You'd rather play OU or Utah? Uh, I, don't, I mean, I'd rather play Utah. I'd rather play Utah. Utah's got a, Utah has the better defense yeah, by they, far. They got a really good defensive line. And Tyler Huntley from Utah. Nobody's seen Tyler Huntley play. I get it. Like no, nobody, nobody here has seen Tyler Huntley play. He's been real efficient. They just aren't scary. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Um, Jalen Hurts, C.D. Lamb, they can score. I think they can score. You, you could end up in the same game as you played in Austin. Yeah. If you play Oklahoma. Mm. Um, so, I'd, I'd rather play Utah. Yeah, I'd rather play Utah. Uh, but. I get the feeling like they'll get Utah, like they'll get Oklahoma, though. If Oklahoma blows the doors off of a. 10 and one, 11 and 1 Baylor. Bro, and but Utah might lose to Oregon, bro. Like, yeah. yeah did you yeah. see Oregon today? Yeah, right. Yeah. Oregon came out today. And even last week when they like when they wanted to flip the switch. Yeah. Oregon um Oregon they Oregon fucked up. Yeah. They blew it. Oregon you blew it. They blew it. But they got a Rose Bowl appearance on the line. They go into Pac-12, they're in the Rose Bowl. Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I mean, something to play for. you go win this game, you're in the Rose Bowl. Lose the game, you might still be in the Rose Bowl. But win the game, you're in the Rose Bowl. I mean, that's something that I think Oregon would would play for. And they, they may, bro, Oregon might be a betting favorite over you. Just if I can find that line. Oregon, Utah, point spread. I need to go get another drink, but I'm out. I'm dry. Some stats from the pipe. What you got? Just the stats, man. Go through them. Uh, I'm trying to find Oregon, Utah. Come on now. Ah, piece of shit. Hang on. Shit. Who are you going to try? You got it? Yeah, well, I don't have the spread. I get the stats. Uh, so Burroughs night, 23 of 32, 352, three touchdowns, no picks. Clyde had 18 carries, 87 yards. He scored. Jamar Chase had seven for 197 and averaged 28 yards per catch tonight for two scores. Hey! I mean, my God. Racy McMath had two catches. All they got up right now is hypothetical um, – Championship futures. LSU. They got Ohio State as a four-point favorite over LSU. Give me some of that. They got. Give me some of that. They got Clemson as a four and a half point favorite over LSU. Are you kidding? LSU minus three against Georgia. LSU minus one against Bama. That won't happen, as we know. And they got. They got plus four against Clemson. Plus four and a half. 
Clemson four and a half against LSU. Come oh, on. Come on. Uh, come on. That's, 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 come on, bro. I mean, like, still no respect. Come on. With the elites. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. What a joke. Man. I'm trying to, bro, I am trying to, oh, and Taysom Hill, bro. Taysom yeah. Hill was there. Dude, tonight. Mike Thomas was there. Will Lutz was there. Um, Vaughn Bell was there. She's turning her house into a winter wonderland, no, bro. No, no doubt. She's a teacher. Bro, our. Looks like a classroom in there. You should see this room. What, uh, you should, the right here? Bro. You, I, it, when I got home from work yesterday, it was like someone set a bomb off in Santa's workshop. <laughs> Fucking tinsel and shit. What about Marcus Allen on the sidelines? That was cool. How pimp is that? That was cool, bro. I mean, that's great for recruiting, too. West Coast recruiting looks good when you got John Robinson and Marcus Allen. Now, the kids may not know who they are, but the dads yeah. are definitely saying, I mean, one of the best ever. Just, Panamski said Marcus Allen just hits just hits Ogeron on Thursday. Like, hey, coach, I'd like to come in, check the game out. Marcus, you come in whenever you want, brother. They got a field pass waiting with come your on. name on it. Come on. I mean. Sitting there with John Robinson. <clears throat> Um, excuse me. Um, Florida will beat Penn State. I want to see that matchup. Which you thinking? Uh, you think Penn State would go Rose Bowl? Penn State sounds like a Rose Bowl. Yep, that sounds like a Rose Bowl bid. Who else? What about I mean, Wisconsin, else? Wisconsin yeah. or or Minnesota? Minnesota. Ten, ten and ten and two Penn State, ten and two Minnesota. Which is which is ranked higher? Minnesota probably drops after their blowout loss. Penn State, so Penn State, it'll be, it'll be Penn, State. Penn State. It'll be Penn State, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Tua falling to the Saints? Uh, I, I asked Mike D that. Mike D said there's no way he falls out of the top ten. He said that. zero chance he falls out of the top ten. I agree with that. Um, let's see. Ideal for LSU is to have Alabama, Florida, Georgia all in the top ten. It's from Clovis Mello. Uh, how, I don't know how that could happen. Bama, I don't think, will fall out of the top ten. Georgia, I don't think either. Could Florida get in the top ten after Where their win today? 12? 11. 11. They were 11 or 12. Uh, they, they beat Florida State today. Uh, uh, Minnesota is going to fall out, but Wisconsin is going to jump in after beating Minnesota. So, here's your ranking as it stands. Um, Ohio State, LSU, Clemson, Georgia. Bama, they'll fall. Utah, six. Utah will go to five. Oklahoma will go to six. I think Bama falls to seven. Baylor moves up to eight. Penn State will move to nine. Florida, I think, moves to ten. Minnesota falls below them. Wisconsin, well, no, Wisconsin beat them. So Wisconsin, how far up does Wisconsin go? That's the question. That's that's the that's the tricky one. Is how far up does Wisconsin go? At nine and two, or ten and two? Do they go? Wisconsin eight. So Florida, so then Baylor, Bama drops. All right. So here's my best guess. Utah goes to five, Oklahoma goes to six. I think Baylor goes to seven, Wisconsin goes to eight. Bama drops to nine. Penn State stays at 10, Florida stays at 11. I don't think they move, bro. I don't know how they move. I don't know how you put those teams ahead of them. Yeah. It's all how far do you drop Bama, how far do you drop Minnesota. I think Minnesota's way the fuck out, but I think Wisconsin's going to jump up because of it. That's tough. Yeah, I don't think LSU's going to gain much in the way of Florida this week. So, well, subject. Uh, let's see. Let's see how much the subjective vote counts. Go, go, go! Beat the shit. Go beat the shit out of Georgia next week, and it don't matter. Uh, what if we have to play Clemson in the semis? That's Stephanie Grice. Who cares who you have to play now? At this point, you just want to get in. It's the final see, four. I. All right, I've heard that argument, bro, and I just I patently disagree with it because here my feeling is, if LSU has to play Clemson or Ohio State in New Orleans. I love LSU in the national championship in New Orleans against either of those teams. I would much rather play either Utah or Oklahoma in Atlanta. 
than play one of those teams in Arizona. Arizona. Which I think would be likely. Because I think if, and I'll tell you this much, if LSU ends up as the one, and you don't get to pick, but you get to announce a preference. If LSU, if it's obviously if it's LSU is the one, and say Utah is the four, they'll play they'll play in Atlanta. But if LSU is the one against say Clemson, they're going to go play. Or if LSU is in a two three with Clemson, if Ohio State's one, LSU's two, Clemson's three, I think they're going to Arizona. Yeah. Uh, no, they would. They'll, right? Well, Ohio State would probably prefer Arizona. But I don't think that they would want the glut of fans from either school overwhelming in Atlanta of Clemson and and I mean just and for Ohio State's purpose, I think Ohio State would rather more of a of a home field. But Ohio State's got a huge alumni base in Arizona. I think they'd rather be there, but I think they'd flip them. Um, so I'm I'm curious, man, if LSU needs to go beat the shit out of Georgia next week, man. If LSU beats the shit out of Georgia, I think I a lot of this takes care of itself. I, I agree. You know, just go, go beat, go beat the shit out of Georgia, and a lot of this takes care of itself. Said that all season long. The only one that matters is next Sunday. Um, all, these, all these Tuesday night shows are just getting us to talk about it throughout the week. But at the yeah. end of it, man, once the body of work is done, and LSU goes through this schedule undefeated and wins the SEC, how, how? Bubba A. Bear, Whiskey and Wine from the Downtown Athletic Club. So first of all, they don't do the Heisman at Downtown Athletic Club no. anymore. Downtown it's Athletic like Club. City, huh? um, I think they do it from like a hotel somewhere. Downtown Athletic Club got it's too small. Well, that but also in nine eleven, it, it was like it's. I mean, it's in Lower Manhattan. Downtown Athletic Club's in Lower Manhattan. So I mean, I remember passing that. Uh, I was in. I was in. Man, I was in. Um, in New York City, about a month after 9-11 for the World Series that year, and downtown Athletic had, like, scaffolding, like, holding it up. But they, they moved it out of there. I think they closed and moved it out of there. So it's been it's been in a different spot since. But either way, you're going, though. Yeah. You're going. Um, yeah. I asked her I asked her if she wanted to go. I mean, I said, are you not? I was like, let's, let's jump a plane and go. Um, Where, are we going to Atlanta, too, right? Huh? We're going to Atlanta. We're, I know I'm doing my show there Friday. Well, I saw credential confirmation come through. Come on. Yeah. I'm doing my show Friday from the Hyatt. So I guess we'll do whiskey and wine from there. I was going to so I was gonna say, what do we do? So you going? Yeah. Fuck, let's do it there. Hell yeah. It T- might not be immediate post games. I'm T- going to the game. Yeah, me too. So we'll go back to the uh, we'll go back to Team Hotel, do it in the lobby. Mm-hmm. Hey. <laughs> lobby ball. Hey, I'm, Coach. Hey, coach. Hey, hey, hey. coach. Hey, hey, go. Hey, hey. Couple minutes on whiskey and wine. All right, talk to the people. I gotta go get another pour, bro. I'm yeah, dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to our guy David Richardson. Um, 413-3267. Remember, it's a one-stop shop. Our guy is a realtor and a contractor, so make sure you hit him up for uh, whatever your uh, your real estate needs are, or if you're in uh, in the uh, market for construction. You can also check out some of the uh, the stuff that's been going on with. Uh, with David Richardson on this uh, on this Facebook post, his Facebook home site is pa- is uh, is tagged right there. So make sure and like and follow that right, there, uh, and keep up with it. Um, tonight was about Burrow, man. We've talked a lot about the situations of what LSU, what could happen to LSU right now, but really tonight is a celebration of this regular season, undefeated, only the third time in program history that that's happened. Um, so. It's only the first time since 2011 that it's happened, and then Joe Burrow becomes a single-season passing leader in the SEC when you talk about yards and uh, when you talk about uh, – Is that too much? Maybe so. Damn. Wow, she didn't – I was just sweating. I'm like, it's so hot. She's like, turn the fan off. I was like – Well, I mean, the, 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 the wind just picked up, so, I mean, you might want to let it play for a minute. All right. All right, what are people talking about? Oh, yeah, that was a breeze. That wasn't a fan. Um, I mean, obviously, people are just you know, looking forward on to what could be. Um, the fans were yelling Joe for Heisman after the game. I mean, that's going to happen. It should. You kidding me? I don't, I, I just, I, I don't know who would be his top. Hurts. Yeah. Hurt, hurt, well, and, and Fields had a good game today, so they might trust <coughs> him in there. But he, 
No, nobody's pat. What did so? Let's run through. Let's run through the stats from the game. We ain't done this yet. So Burrow finishes twenty three of thirty two for three fifty two and three touchdowns, no picks. I mean, uh-huh. come on, bro. Like n- nobody's doing this. Like it's over. Clyde eighteen for eighty seven and a score. Ty Davis Price seven for twenty four and a score. Curry four. For, Cur- Curry hit, ran hard, bro. Yeah, he did. It's it's fun to see fresh legs at the end of the game. Emery two for four. Um, let's see. Catching the ball. Uh, let's see. Chase seven for one ninety seven. Twenty seven yards a catch. At twenty eight point one, bro. Twenty eight yards a catch. Seven for one ninety seven and two scores. I forgot about the seventy eight yarder, of course. Racy two for sixty seven. Tell you, man. Jefferson six for fifty five. Clyde four for forty nine. Marshall three for thirty four. Dylan two for seventeen. And Ty Davis Price one catch for six yards. Um, defensively, oh, they don't have defensive stats listed yet. Uh, let's see. Team LSU. Did you see the, third, the first downs? Uh-huh. Thirty-one first downs to twelve. They played. <laughs> they played more third downs than they had. Thirty-one first downs. What was their third down efficiency tonight? Four of eleven. Four of eleven. Not they got great. to they got to third down. Now in fairness, in more. fairness, how many of those were at the end of the game when yeah. you're you're just punting the rest of the well, game? Well, and, and you know one thing that we didn't talk about was Lloyd struggled on the shotgun snaps. He did. He rolled. He rolled one he back to Burrow that, that ended up in a sack. Yeah. One of them ended up in a sack. Yeah, that was uh, the back to back sacks. Now I think that was also in the same drive where they got to delay a game and Burrow was pissed. They went sack. Delay of game. Sack. Roll the snap back sack. No. Um, that was, um, yeah, that was LSU's last possession of the first half. They had a 14-yard catch to Marshall, and then they had the third and 14 after a sack. Delay of game, third and 19 sack. They punted. And then Delpit got, Del, dude, Delpit had a nice game, not just a pick. Delpit came up with a nice PBU at the end of the first half. Christian Fulton had two nice PBUs yeah. tonight. Um, I don't think they threw at Stingley once tonight. Um, I didn't see him throw at Stingley once no, tonight. I didn't see him throw I mean, at Stingley once tonight. And I thought that Delpit had a little bounce to him. Yeah. I thought that he looked like he was fat. I mean, that was one thing over the last yeah. couple of games before he finally decided to sit. Was he Old, just, bro, he Ole no Miss bounce. was bounce. He had no he, – he couldn't, he couldn't jump. Ole Miss, it was obvious, bro. He was just not right against Ole Miss. Yeah. Damn, Cal got the lead. Ah, um, nine penalties. I thought in the first half the officials did a good job letting them play. There was a couple of, of misses, but yeah. I'm okay if you're letting them play. I mean, the, the, the teams combined for like six penalties in the first half, and they were two of them were offsides. One of them was a delay a game. One of them was the personal foul on Burrow on the sideline. The other was personal foul when he hit Burrow in the head. Like, they, I thought they called a pretty – even game. Like, they let them play in the first half. Second half, it got a little sloppy. Um, well, I mean... Shit, right at the shoot in the second half. Like they called... They called holding on Caleb on all night. Yeah. You know what? They called it... They, on A&M's first possession of the second half... This is where Fulton made a good play. After a bad one. They had a third and 12. A&M did. And they called P.I. on Fulton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had another... On the same drive, now they had third and 12 again, and Fulton came up with the PBU. So I thought I thought they challenged Fulton all night. I thought he played a really good game, man. So you know I'm a I'm a huge Stingley. We're all huge Stingley fans. I, I and I, I'm not complaining about him, but he needs to become more of a threat in the punt game. Uh, and and you don't have to be great because of Burrow. Yeah. Because you don't have to. You know, it's not like you have to set him up with some type of field position. Yeah. But I just think that there are opportunities that that Stingley lets go when he can make a return. Now he did. I wonder he did what have that a ten wonder, yard return tonight. He had they well. Br- first of all, Braden Man is the best yeah. punter in college yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he had one return that got negated by penalty, and they started the seven yard line after the 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 return because uh, they called for blocking the back. But there was another thing. It, they call, it was the elite. It was on thirty one. Is that Monroe? Thirty one. Cam Lewis. Lewis is thirty one. They had on the punt return. They had the legal block in the back on him. Um, yeah. And they also, you know, what else they called tonight was bullshit. It was a time in the game 
But this is the time of the game where it felt like maybe LSU would get rolling again because they're up 30. They were up, what, 34 nothing at half? 31 nothing at half. So up 31 nothing at half. They forced the punt from AM. LSU gets the ball to start to get after that punt. It's when 31 had the penalty. So they start their own seven. And they're moving the ball, bro. Um, it's when Burrow hit, set the record on the pass to Clyde. They move it into, into A&M territory. And Burrow, second and five, Burrow's being pressured. He rolls. He's at the sideline. He spins back yes. in. He gets the first down. And yes. they negate it for yes. the, 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 the illegal the, block the on Deculus. Yes. And I'm like... Deculous. What's, your, what's a horseshit call? It's a horseshit call. I mean, because they called him on the blind side The blind block. side block. So He's it, running side by side. So and puts a shoulder I don't into know him. what you do now on the blind side block. I mean, like, I, I literally, the only thing you can do, Jordy, literally, is just like stand there. Hands up. I mean, yeah, so what do you do? Deal. You can't. It's McDonough. Sean McDonough took up for Deculus. Yeah. Blackledge was still kind of on the fence, and like McDonough was like, "What do you want him to do?" Yeah, what do you do? But that's but so that's my point. It's like, yeah, the rule is the rule, but like you literally can't hit someone who's not looking anymore. So what do you do in that? Like seriously, I mean, I'm gonna ask Ed this on Monday. I'm like, what do you tell your guys? What do you tell your guys? Because yeah. I asked him a similar how, question. How do you coach it up? I asked him a similar question earlier this year. They called Marcel Brooks had a play where he was late. And he hit a yeah, quarterback hit low. low. That's right. I remember and they threw a flag. And, and so, I, used to teach so I asked that. that in his in Ed's line was <coughs> we used to teach him go late, go low. Yeah. It's like that's what they used to teach guys. Yeah. If you're late, go low, affect the quarterback's feet to affect the throw. You know, if you're not gonna get there, get yeah. at his feet and yeah. hope he yeah. you know, right. misfires. Now, like that's a penalty. So it's like, what do you teach him on this thing? I mean, what do you te- like yeah. you got a quarterback that's scrambling? Side, what do you I mean, tell him to do? And, and I, I, I'm with you, man. I thought that was about. You know what else I thought was a, a bad call was the first intentional grounding on Kellen Mond. Yeah, it was a bad call. I mean, a similar situation. Yeah. I mean, and the play before that, he he Mond heaved it out of bounds. The kid Mond's, was short. Yeah. And, and and the play before that, Mond scrambled and and dumped it away. Yeah. Like, it's like, what are you seeing? I mean, what are you, you wonder if an LSU coach got in his ear like, "Hey, it's grounded." Yeah, it was a poor job. That was a poor job. Uh, but I'm with you, all in all. I'm anxious to see who gets the SEC championship, what crew does. Oh, uh, uh, officiating crew? Yeah, what crew will get it. Probably be the swolled up guy. Um, I don't know his name, the big swolled up guy. Yeah. He's the guy that seems to have all the CBS games. They put him on the best game, his crew. Um, get my notes, see if we got anything else, man. We talked about Mo Hampton. Mo Hampton's going to be a star. Um... Steve, how about the play Jacoby made when he was rushing Mond on the right end and they were dumping it off short? He peeled back and, like, deflected yeah. it. Yeah. Beautiful play, right, man. He's such a good athlete. But, all, but on that play, there was a penalty. They called uh, they called Rashard Lawrence for lining up offsides on that play. To me, God, he did some stupid shit. Stevens is the, this. This should have been seventy. He's bro. the most crucial junior that you have to come back. I don't have a feeling him at all. I have no idea. Me either. But I don't know. Like, you got to get him to come back. He'd be monster, man. Because you're losing Delpit. Um, yeah. Someone said in in the halftime you weren't here, but someone said in the halftime, um, you know, if, Matt, what do you think about Jimbo now? Can't miss, sure fire, blah. I'm like, first of all. Don't be a dick because like your team's about to go twelve and zero. But second of all, guy had a, had a big rebuild and look at the schedule this year. Look at his losses: Bama, Clemson. Georgia, Clemson, LSU, Auburn. We played the number one Tough. team three times. Yeah, three times. I mean, come on. Ne- next year, Clemson rotates off, Colorado rotates on, Georgia rotates off, Vandy rotates on. Like right there, they're a nine win team. Now, do you get one of the big games? You know, one of the big three. Do you get LSU? Do you get Bama? Do you get Auburn? You know, maybe you're a 10. We'll, we'll say whatever. But um, what the fuck are we talking about? Uh, A&M. A&M schedule. And A&M. Like, what happened before what, that? What do you think about Jimbo? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody was asking me that shit. 
And what what brought that up? Where was um, I going with that? Some asshole at halftime. Hey, Matt, what do you think about Jimbo now? No, no, what brought that up? Um, I don't know. Uh-huh. What were we talking about before that? Um, fuck, bro. I have no idea. I, no I don't idea. know. I don't idea. Somebody tell me what I was talking about. Um, I don't remember what the fuck we were talking about. Are you going to New Orleans? For what? For Catholic Guy? No, I'll be in Atlanta. That's right. I'll be in Atlanta next week. Um, You're flying, right? Yeah, flying um, Flying on Thursday. When are you going? I don't know that. All I've seen, all I've seen for, for Atlanta is that my credentials were approved. Oh. I, I don't, I've, not, I've gotten no... Because you're not doing your show there. So we had a big... Dude, we had a big meeting. I know that. I know we had that. a big meeting. Because <laughs> you're going to Heisman, we're going to Atlanta. Right. So, like, guarantee, like, bought our flights and hotels. I don't think they know you're going. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. Are you going? I don't know, but I've got media credentials that have uh, been approved for Atlanta. All right, cheers. Uh, um, but I do know that I'm going to Los Angeles with the basketball team. That's and awesome. I'm going to the Heisman. So if I was going to Atlanta, I mean, it was just going to be a hell of a December for your boy. I know. How about that? You know what I mean? Um, uh, well, if you're not going to Atlanta, then then we got to talk about what we're going to do for this. Yeah. Uh, anyway, there was something that I was going to fucking talk about. Talking about Lawrence Stanner, you know, Steven Stanner going. Uh, Jimbo don't win next year, he's gone. I don't know what the hell we were talking about. That blows my mind now. I'm a good. Draft, draft picks leaving early. Draft picks. Oh, we were talking about Jacoby Stevens. So funny. Hey, bro, everything <coughs> is good. What were we talking about? Nothing is fucked, man. Nothing, Nothing is, is fucked. Fuck. You're, You're being very undude. You're being very undude. Dude. Nothing is um, fucked. I don't know, man. Losing Stevens. Losing. St- oh, oh, oh! This wow. is where that all started. Okay. No, pull. no, no. This is why. Okay. Really no, no. I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Losing Stevens. So, my point was, okay. So you look at A and M schedule next year. It gets very favorable. You look at LSU. All right. Burrow's gone. They lose Clyde. Jefferson. Rashard. McGee, Lewis, Rashard, Fajoko, Calebon, Delpit, Fulton, Jacob Phillips? Maybe. Maybe. Stevens? Maybe. maybe. I mean, you're talking about maybe 11 or 12 guys. Yeah. Right? Like, my point, so my point with that is, like, yeah, you can be, be, careful, be careful yeah. throwing stones and shit. Because next year you might be right in that spot where you're gutted. Like this, this, this is your year. No, no. This, this is it. Bro. Like is it, go is make it. go make your run because next you year have to do. You have to next, next year could be 2008, right? I don't know if it go, it'll get that bad, but I mean, it was an eight win team. We don't talk about that bad, you know. But still, like seven and five to win a bowl game they replaced, they replaced a lot of dudes but, but you replaced everybody yeah. and then the schedule's brutal you had to go to Florida you know you just you took you took your licks that year had to go to Florida you had to go to Auburn although they wanted Auburn you know uh, Bama came in you were down Saban had gotten back up. anyway you, you get my point but that's my point it's like you lose Stevens too you know what I mean like right. I'm, I'm curious to see who they're able to work to get back because Whoever's playing quarterback next year, I mean, you'll have, like you'll have whoever's quarterback, but you'll have Chase and Marshall. You'll have Ty Davis I think Bryce. Cushenberry comes back. Yes, absolutely, hundred percent. You'll 100%. have Moss back. Should anyway Should. come back for your senior year? Should. You'll have Sadiq and Deculus back. Sadiq and Should Deculus. anyway. Yeah. No. Uh, both are juniors. Both could go, but Carl both should Thomas come back. Play. Cardell Thomas will play. Um, defensive line, bro. What do you do there? Well, I mean, some of these newcomers are gonna have to play. Yeah. I mean, but this is my point. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, like yeah, no, this next is year, year is the year where, like, yeah. if if you're out flexing shit and, and kicking people while they're down, like you don't want to be a part of the revenge tour. Yeah. So, yeah, well, that's my point. Just yeah, yeah. you know, take it easy. Chill. In, in, in my point, enjoy this. Just in, like. I don't, don't think about next something. year. Just enjoy this moment. If you're not enjoying this, 
get away from sports. Yeah. Stop following it because this is Camelot. This is as good as it gets. This is as good as it gets for Joe Burrow, for Jimmy Burrow, his family. This is as good as it gets for LSU football. This is as good as it gets for the media, yeah. for us covering LSU football. It's, for, it's as good as it gets for the fan base. Yeah, I mean, right. you have the best offense in the country. Historically, the SEC says, the numbers say that you have the best in the SEC's yeah, history. Right. You got a quarterback that's going to win the Heisman Trophy. You're favored to win the SEC championship next week. We both think that they run through the SEC title. These are good. Um, Shelly Post Martin, enjoy what's up? It. Enjoy it. AJ Holland, Jimbo don't win next year. Are you gone? No, too much money. I was talking to, to Lucci this week, Billy Lucci. He said, I was like, what's the pressure like on Jimbo? He's like, zero. Zero. You can they tell. get it. You can tell. They get it. They understand. Yeah. Like, he inherited a shit show. He's building a program. Yeah. They can give him time. Um, Michael Mason. Uh, Kerry Hughes, are you doing AFR from the Hyatt? Yeah, uh, Friday, AFR from the Hyatt, Regency, downtown Atlanta. Is that the fan deal? So, I, I wanted to do AFR from... We're doing Eagle Game Day Saturday from FanFest. I wanted to do AFR from FanFest because, why well, wouldn't you? Right. But, Hanny and Otter are doing their show... But the FanFest isn't open yet. So they got to do their show from the, from the hotel. We can't get the Comrex from there just turning it over. I'm like, so I'm going to sit in a hotel room in Atlanta? I'm going to sit in the studio. Yeah, right. I'm back in Pay all that money. I'm going to sit in a hotel room in Atlanta? Yeah. But I'll be there. I'll be at the Hyatt in Atlanta. Nice. Um, Colby Hester. Casey Keller. What's up, bro? Scott Zachary. Matt Irby. Uh, My anyone check on Joel Clad after Chase Young laid an egg today? Joel Clad, bro. Cortland Jacob, Bob Sherry, Andrew Perino. I'm super bummed about Joel Clad because I liked him as a color analyst. Yeah, he just he sold his soul to the devil. He comes across as a guy that is just stumping for the leagues for which he works. It's like, God damn, bro. Yeah, like I. I've said this here. What are you watching, Joel? I've said I've said this on AFR. Bro, I get everybody don't always like Tim Brando's opinions. That fucker ain't scared. Yeah. Tim ain't scared. Like, Tim will call, like, Tim called out Clat and Coward on Twitter. Call him out. After the game? No, like, earlier this week when they were on, they were on Coward's show, and he's like, so disappointed in these guys, like, you know what I'm like? Thank you. Anyway, what what are you what are you watching? If you don't see LSU and say to yourself, I mean, they are a problem, a matchup problem, man. Um, Andrew Perino said eleven to twelve dudes losing next year. Oh, I think they said we're the same dude, dude, bro. Oh, oh flat. Love him. Flot almost had a pick tonight. Should have had a pick. They love him, man. The coaches love Flot. I mean, dude, he's, played, he's played in tough spots this year and been pretty good. I mean, uh, Brent Contreras. You, you agree with that? Fuck yeah, dude. I mean, he's been. I Fuck mean, yeah. Mo Hampton and Cardell Flot and Derek Stingley. That is right. three freshmen that, in the defensive backfield, I mean, those are three bright spots of the team right now. The power and reach of whiskey and wine. You remember uh, Fuck Michael Terry? Uh-huh. Earlier, was that yeah. this year? I don't know, last year. I don't think it was this year. I think it might have been Texas. It was like, fuck you, Michael Terry. Remember that guy? <laughs> yeah. Like, we were just telling him to go fuck himself all night? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody messaged me today. They're like, that's my sister's boyfriend. We laugh about that shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Rush just joined. Gordy, is OTB going to Atlanta? Please confirm or deny inside the huddle. Or Gordon inside, Linden Rush the third. Or inside the, uh, the comment section. Hey, Gordy, hit the share button, bro. Let Beth know we're interested in her commentary <laughs> on uh, not only whiskey and wine, but also on the, the, uh, the subway workers in Central. <laughs> Tell her we would love to know her opinions. Oh, man. Gordy's trying to find a Central Basketball League in Baton Rouge to play in. Why? I don't know if they have a facility. Um, it looks like LSU Clemson in the Fiesta Bowl. 
looks like, uh, like I mean, how can you okay. say that? I, can, I, 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 I can. can I bring up this point real quick? Of course I can. It's our show. Who the fuck stop me? Hey, is this going to stop me? Can come to my house and stop me from saying this shit? So, 12 hours ago, 12 hours ago, there was an inordinate, an inordinate number of you who were convinced Alabama was getting in the playoff. Right? Yeah. Okay? They lost today. Ten days ago, there was an inordinate amount of conversation about Oregon being the four seed. And they lost. Can we please watch next week's games and see? I mean, like... like what if, like, this is the problem, is the problem with the, like, can you imagine, you're a basketball guy. Can you imagine if the college basketball committee, for a month before Selection Sunday, every Sunday, built a field, put out a hypothetical fucking bracket? Yeah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? We think this team's going to win the A-10. And, and, and not only that, having teams that have played each other, one team has beaten right. a team that you're, you're you're talking about, and that team's still rated higher. Right. Like, what? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. I mean, our fucking pets' heads are falling off. We got no food. <laughs> we got no jobs. Our pets. <laughs> That's true. Chase Roper. Although it might be Chase Raper. Roper. Roper. Too positive here. Yeah. Where? Where's the party in Atlanta? Sounds like the Hyatt. Hyatt Regency, bro. Come get some. Uh, Robert Boudreau, I think it's pepperoni sticks. Yeah. It's um from Iverstein. Shout out Galen Iverstein. He gave me a whole, he came in with Jay Dakota a couple weeks ago. Nice. Gave me a whole gift box. They got good shit. Pepperoni sticks, that'd be jerky, all kind of stuff. And it was that awesome. Place, bro. Huh? Place is good. They got good stuff, man. I didn't good. realize. Good. Shout out Iverstein. Your pepperoni sticks are good. Johnny Lombardi, third time's a charm. Can we get more John Brady stories? <laughs> <laughs> give me one, Jordy. Give me one. All right, no, don't, don't give me John Brady story. Here's what I wanted to know. The last time we were here doing Whiskey and Wine. Yeah, we almost blew the whole thing up. Yeah, you told John Brady stories that went very badly. What was the conversation like with John well, I mean, you knew that phone call was going to come. Yeah. And for whatever reason, I I, I thought we were going to escape. I thought we were going to get by and nope. nobody was going to find him. Nobody was going to get to him. Nope. Too many people watch this, bro. Reach, <laughs> reach is too big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Reach so is too Sunday, big. So Sunday, I see the phone ring, man. Yeah, sure enough, there it is, Coach Brady. He ain't calling the bullshit about the game, I know. Fucking <laughs> Kalata. Hey, what's up, Coach? God damn, man. <laughs> I probably got five fucking ten text messages from people I ain't heard from in four fucking years <laughs> because of you and Moscona telling <laughs> stories about my ass on that fucking show y'all do after the game. What do y'all call it? Wine and whiskey? <laughs> where, where, where y'all sit there and get drunk and talk about the football game? Just fucking like jerk off the football program for fucking three hours. And my name came up. Fuck. <sighs> And then you gotta tell Don't them fucking it. bullshit stories. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know that's full of shit. You sitting over there lying your fucking ass off. <laughs> Not completely lying, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that's it, man. I can't get too much. Uh, just stop. Stop. That's, that's, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. How about this? How about if we just start getting you to do part of the show as Coach Brady? I would love it. So you're not actually telling any John it. Brady stories and, that would get you, you in trouble. You were so skeptical that remember you were like, no way he really talks like this, huh? And then you were like, you were like, God <laughs> damn, dude. <laughs> this guy is a fucking beaut. I don't remember that, but I'm he's a beaut. He is a beaut. Oh my god. How how long have we been on? Um I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see, Hunter John Daigle, how can LSU not be number one after beating number five? Well, <coughs> number four is Georgia. Uh, five is Bama, but um, committee can do whatever they want. They decided they thought that the defense was better. Uh, the, the defensive piece. <laughs> the, it's, 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 the, it's the defensive piece. It was the defensive piece. Oh, yeah? Rob, 
Too many top nineteen wins. What the? What, what are y'all doing okay, in like, that room? So I have I have gotten to a point I mean, where can I get in that room? I don't want to be in that room, bro. I'm telling you this straight up. Here, here's my opinion. You tell me. You tell me if you think I'm wrong on this. Appreciate it, bro. My opinion is. I think I was actually getting it from me, but whatever. No, you know it's yours, bro. No, 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 no. No, No, I don't want to share it. I do not want to share it. Okay. This is a uh, all right. This is a guest friendly (laughs) household. Um, I think if you were on that committee, if you agree to be on that committee, you are a self important asshole. Yeah, well, because here's the bottom line: that committee is not good for college football. The fact that the opinion of 13 people sitting in a room matters more than the results on the field is a problem. And that any former coach, Frank Beamer, Mm -hmm. R.C. Slocum, that any former coach could sit in that room and honestly think that their opinion, what they think, think about matters more than what happened on the field is total bullshit. And the only reason they do it is it's an ego stroke. It's an ego play to feel important again when you're not anymore. Bullet point in the resume. Because you're not important anymore. The crowd's quieted down. You're not on the sideline anymore. Nobody asks you questions. Now you get to go be on this committee. That's all it is. If you really gave a shit about college football, you would recognize how broken this system is, and instead of participating in it, you would stand up and say, this is broken, I'm not participating in this. And hopefully, hopefully, instead of doing this, you actually fix this for the sport that we all love. Because having a committee of assholes sitting in a room, deciding who they think is better. They, I got Rob Mullins, the AD at Oregon, analyzing turnover margin and game control, and that's how we're deciding champions in college football? Not what happened on the field. The fact that this asshole sits there and tries to convince you that the S&P rating thinks this is better, and based on your top 19 wins and your defensive piece, you're the number one team. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I mean, you can't say any better than that. I mean, it's, 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 it's insane. I mean, it's... it's Cheers, whiskey and wine, bro. I mean, it's, is Gordy going to be mad that I just flipped off the camera? <coughs> no. no he By now, to, if you don't know what you're getting with whiskey and wine, shame on you, bro. Yeah, three years in, bro. Yeah, yeah we're three, three, years years in. In. three years in. Gordy's going to get some angry emails on Monday. Please email gordy.rush <laughs> at guaranteemedia.com. That's Gordy with a Y. Or just Gordy at 1045 ESPN. Or a Jordy. Is it Gordy or Jordy? Uh, it's Gordy Holberg. <laughs> it's, Gordy, it's Gordy Holberg. <laughs> Uh, who did the picture? Nice to meet you. Who is, did the is, picture? Is that the Twitter. Uh, uh, who yeah, did that? I don't know. It was a picture so of like good. Gordy and Jordy Holtberg like crossing uh, their faces. Uh, no, over there's a perfect. there's a Twitter account now. Gordy at Gordy Holtberg. Oh, it's cl- it's got to be Jacques. It's got to be. Yeah. It's a hundred percent Jacques. Is Jacques every burner account in town? Is he not Jim Hawthorne? Is oh, he not? God, is he dude. not everybody? The best. It's, yeah. it, he's got to be right. He, he's, he's definitely the Hawthorne. Man. He's all of them. You would think Jacques would have more things to do with his time. I mean, that's a lot of time. I'm just sitting here thinking that's a lot. That's of a lot time. of time. That's a lot of time. I, don't, I got my wife's. My wife's making our, our house in the sand. It's fucking workshop. Look at her, man. You think I, mean, I got time for like, this? Like in the North Pole up here. You got to go look at this room. Is it about to start snowing? You got to look at this room. Oh, dude, if she could get a snow machine, she would totally <laughs> do that shit, bro. I mean, our whole our whole thing is right. We she got 14 Christmas boxes in the attic. They're labeled. Good. They're labeled. Yeah. Xmas, one slat, one of 14, two of 14, three of four. I had to go up in the attic and get all shit on a bum knee. <laughs> Climbing up and down the attic. We got to brush. She's I'm decorating the chandelier. I'm just, I'm just fired up because we're getting a tree tomorrow. She's, she's decorating the chandelier, bro. Yeah. Look. She's got big balls hanging off the chandelier. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing here? Uh, what are we doing? You married a school teacher. Yeah. It's a classroom in there. Yeah. Um, Bird Gunter, Stephen Edmondson. Y'all have any Boots Garland sho- stories? That's my grandfather. Wow. How about Boots? Didn't he do the strength shoes? He did the strength <laughs> shoes. We had some strength shoes. He was the coach. They just uh, stand on your toes, <laughs> he, was, he was the coach in uh, in the pistol. Yeah, for sure. Um, he's Skip Bertman's got great Boots Garland stories. 
<laughs> this guy, Brandon Garrard, said, I hate listening to Brady when I listen to basketball at work. Hey, Brandon, let me, let me tell you something, Brandon. If you don't like John Brady as a color analyst on basketball, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> he might gets, he man. might be the best the radio best. color analyst I've the ever best. heard. And you and, and let me tell you how hard that job is to paint a picture in a five second window. Get of in, exactly get out. What's going on? And that cat gets in there, and it feels like you're sitting courtside. Yeah. When you listen to him. It's, fuck. The fact fuck you. I've I've told. No, you listen to my ass on the radio. You fucking hated me as a coach. Now you fucking hate, hate me on the radio. fucking radio. Fuck, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Brandon Garland. Bullshit ass motherfucker. <laughs> I want to hear him talk God to Brandon Garland. Damn. Uh, but it's true, bro. Basketball is the hardest game to call because of con- so con- constant action. It's so fast. You got to keep it with who's subbing in and out. Radio for basketball. I never want. I've never done it. Never want to do it. And to be the color analyst, is you may have three to five seconds in a stoppage, like a side, like a, a baseline, you know, inbounds to get in. And, and not only do you have three to five seconds, but you got to make it hit. Absolutely. Like it's got to be meaningful. <laughs> what you, you be, say? Oh, uh, he caught it and yeah. shot it. I yeah, mean, it's, like it's got. And he came off the screen, caught it, spun right, and laid it up with his right hand. No, like I mean, you got to get back. Like it, he's it, the best, it, bro. He is the best. He's the best. He's the GOAT. Uh, Will wins. Tell us your real opinion, Matt. You never have to worry about that, Will. That's what people listen. You may not right. always like me. You may not agree. But it's why people listen. You know, I ain't going to bullshit you. That's right. And you yeah. listen to me because I kiss, keep, keep, kiss people's ass and try to get the best guest. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Larry Corley. Totally agree what happens on the Oh, we're getting all this shit. Hang on. Um, here's Court. All right. Will the Wisconsin win count twice since he won't be ranked, hopefully? Auburn, Florida, Bama, Georgia should all be in the top 12. Only Penn State would be ranked as high, but they aren't in the top 12 team. Repeat it. <sighs> Will the Wisconsin win count twice? Because... If no, Ohio State beats him twice. And yes, the answer yeah, is yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, since he won't be ranked, hopefully I agree with that. Auburn, Florida, Bama, Georgia should all be in the top 12. I don't know if... Will Auburn... How high will Auburn move with the Bama win? There were 15 this week. 11. I don't think they cracked the top 10. Do they leap Bama? No. And that would even that that, 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 is it that, that, that but that up. that's what it is. That's yeah. what it is. I mean, I, 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 Bama will be eight. Auburn will be eleven. Yeah. Uh, Robert Boudreau said, "Y'all need to add T. Bob on here one night." You can go either way. Do you realize I got to spend five hours of every Saturday with T. Bob? Ten hours a week. Yeah, you do, but you get to break it up. Yeah. You get two hours, and you have to see him for another twenty twenty two hours. Five hours consecutively? That's tough. Bruh. That's tough. That's tough. You and, couldn't and, tell him to show up here, though. And by the time we get to the end of that, he's he's jumped the shark. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? By the Shades time, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. By, the, t- the, by the time you get to the end of it, it's <laughs> yeah, like... Right. He's doing his fucking weird right. you know, announcer voices and right. shit. Like his movie right. his movie uh, yeah. promo. What do you call movie? He's doing the movie trailer voice. I'm like, bro, it's a scoreboard show. You know, like Jeez. Janet just hopped in her car to go to go Ooh. on a beer run because her husband can't drive, and she just wants a little information before she gets back to the house. And she's listening to you be like, "In a time when Clemson was a four touchdown favorite," I'm like, and "Can you not run the ball? Like, can you just give the fucking score, man?" Like, Jay Rochelle, T. Bob, the whiskey and what whiskey, wine and weed. <laughs> uh, I'm like, ah. like T. Just. Give the score. Nah, let me it. hop in and give the analysis because you don't really know anything about any of these teams. He's dude. He's so proud because he learned Chris Kleeman. Chris Kleeman is the is the guy who'd been at North Dakota State, right? Yeah. And is now at Kansas State. Took the job. Like he's so proud. He's so proud. He knows Chris Kleeman's name. He mentions it ad nauseum. Like every time he gets an opportunity to mention Chris Kleeman, I'm like. T, we get it. You know who the coach at Arizona at uh, Kansas Nichols State is? Nichols, I think they're going to North Dakota. All right, Nichols, that a boy. Cade Wasson making a trip. Wasson, Voison. 
Voice. Uh, Gene Chizik on SEC Finals said he would put Ohio State at one because they have more complete offense and a defense to complement. Hey, Gene, it's right here. Get the fuck out of here. Gene Chizik, eat a dick. <laughs> you see what I mean? Eat a dick, Gene Chizik. Seriously, man. I hope he never sees that. Cause <laughs> yeah, beat... right. I'm trying to get you on. But... No, two, two things. Number one, he's really good on air. He is and great on and air. number two, he could probably beat the shit out of him. Yeah. So. yeah, he definitely still works out. Um, but that's a terrible take, Gene. It's a terrible take. Especially from a former coach. Like, I, I, that that's the thing that's perplexing to me. It's like, I, I wish people who have been in the game as players and coaches would come out of it and use the platform they have to be honest. Like, I don't give a fuck who you think is the best team. Like, who's done the most? Right. Who's done the most? Right. Are you going to compare LSU in week two? Like, people can shit on Texas all you want. How different is Texas this season if they win a 45-38 game against LSU? How different's a year, man? Like, I don't know. Maybe not much, but the whole uh, the whole perspective of the season is different. You know what I mean? Like, it, it just ha- – winning games has to matter. Like, it's – Otherwise, what are we doing? Why? Are, why do we care? Why do we care if LSU goes beats Florida? If you're gonna tell, if you're gonna tell me that LSU hanging forty on Florida with all those great rush ends and Dan Mullen and all the talent Florida's got to come into Baton Rouge, and LSU puts forty on them and beats them by three touchdowns, and you're gonna tell me that doesn't matter because some group of douchebags in a room thinks that that Ohio State has better game control, bro. No. They tell me, tell me they, a win. They, they, tell me a win. Ohio State has that 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 comes close to the Florida win. Don't tell me Penn State. Yeah, and sure shit, don't tell me about this Michigan team. This yeah, Michigan team, yeah, right. they got the shit kicked out of it by Wisconsin. By I, the way, I, I don't see it. I, just, I, 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 I don't see. And they they they've gone so far the other way from the subjective element now that it almost takes. I mean, like. They've complimented Alabama so much all season long for not yep. playing anybody and just their name recognition, keeping them within yep. the top five, where you've really told teams like Clemson, LSU. Don't, don't schedule anybody. Don't schedule anybody. Basically what they've done, Jordy, is say, you're better off scheduling Cincinnati Absolutely. and winning 42 to nothing than just scheduling. Make sure, than schedule. Just make sure your offense and your yeah. defense look yeah. good and doing it. You're, you're better – Beating Cincinnati forty-two nothing, then you are going to Austin in week two in front of a hundred thousand people in a national television audience and winning forty-five thirty-eight. You're better off shutting out Cincinnati. I mean, what the fuck are we doing here, it, man? It's, it's, it's insane, man. I mean, you've taken the college football regular season that they should thank their lucky stars above. They still get these opportunities like an LSU Alabama regular season yeah. game. Because other than that, if you don't produce a playoff type scenario in college football's regular season, think about it. I mean, it means nothing. It means nothing. By the way, Brandon Garrard, the guy who knocked on Brady, he's back. I stand by my words. I like Rollins. <laughs> now, now I know you're fucking with Brandon. Yeah, right. You can eat shit. I don't want you to die. I'm just kidding, but I do want you to eat shit. Like if you were here. I don't know if you're a big guy and really strong, but I think the two of us together could take you. Uh, I would. I don't have a dog, but I got a kid, and I probably got a poop diaper somewhere. I'd go Shovel unpack. Shit. I'd go unpack that poop diaper, and I'd shove your face in that shit. I probably wouldn't really do that because it's mean. I'm not a mean guy, but I'm I'm talking tough right now. So come on over. So come on. Over. Don't come over. Actually, do not come to my house. Do not come to my house. All right, we're an hour and forty in. All right. Uh, oh, look at this. Shelly Post Martin. It's Mickey Martin's wife. Okay. Mickey, who, yeah, yeah, who yeah. supplied the booze. Yes. I have 30 Christmas boxes in the attic. I love you, Erica. Huh. Oh, now, here's my question, though, Shelly. Are those Christmas boxes like the big plastic, like black tubs that are like 40 gallon giant? Because that's what we got. I mean. Yeah, it's a winter wonderland. Bro, right you, see, you see those boxes? Look at how big those boxes are over there. I mean. That that's not like the little brown packet box. It's a classroom. Um, Damon Rando, no T Bob ever. I'm with it. Uh, y'all say the games matter. Turn around and put Bama ahead of Auburn. Turn around and put Bama 
ahead of Auburn? Oh, like where would you rank them? Well, I, I but I will say this, okay? Yes, games matter. Your whole resume has to matter too. If Bama's only losses are close loss to LSU, close loss at Auburn, Auburn's lost three games, bro. Yeah. Like they have. Yeah. So you are what your record says you are, right? Yeah. I, I mean, we've seen upsets, but if if you're if you're doing if you are breaking a tie. If you're trying to decide which one, what, let me look at a full resume. That's why I believe on Sunday, if LSU's standing undefeated with an SEC crown, I agree. and they go beat the hell out of Georgia, you're the number one team in the country. I agree. And if you're not, you better come with a hell of an explanation, Rob Mullen. But it won't matter. Uh, sometimes it's tough for Stone to hold back his disdain for T-Bob. <laughs> I bet y'all do rub each other the wrong way sometimes, bro. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can be a little loose. Scones not loose. You know what I mean? Scones, oh, really? Scones. I'm out here at M- MRFing people. No, 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 no. This, to me, this platform has humanized you more than any platform because... It's humanized me. It, sh- it shows that you do, la- it shows you laugh and you cuss, you cut up. Yeah. But I mean, in the professional world, I mean, T Bob is at one end of the spectrum and you're at the other. For sure. I mean, I'm, like, I'm good at what I do and T Bob's not. <laughs> He's good at what he does. Just what he does isn't good. Let me put it to you that way. <laughs> yeah, that's real sad. There you go. Do you think? Do you think I should tell him that me and T. Bob actually get along? No, should I, should I, never should tell him. No, 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 never tell him. All right, always. I'm not gonna tell. Him. I love people that come up to me and they're like, "Dude, do y'all really not like each other?" Like, the shows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Like, what do you mean? Like, like you and the stone? Like, we hate fuck each other." That guy, bro. <laughs> Are you serious? Fuck no, I don't fuck with that guy. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it is 11.23 on a Saturday night. Well, she's know? so fired up, too. She's so fired What are you doing, up. man? What? Yeah. Oh, she's making... She's making... Uh, dude, she, is, she is making... That is, no, no, no. What's the breakdown like? That is going to be the candle holder on the table. On So, on the dining room table, that's she's going to have a candle on it. She's making, How like... How long do I keep them up? Through New Year's? Probably a week after Christmas or so. She is making. She's got like holly and shit. She's making yeah. a decoration for the table. No, she's she like. She told me she's like. I'm staying up tonight. I'm not going to bed till, till it's all done. <laughs> it's like, I'm not doing. It. I'm like. It's got to be all done. She knows we're talking. I said you're doing. You got to get it all done tonight. She knows we're talking shit. See, look at her. Yeah. She says what, that's what you told me. <laughs> oh, you know what we didn't mention is that Missouri fired their coach. Oh first yeah. Ca- first casualty. Yeah. Or oh, no, it's Arkansas. 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 So Arkansas. Missouri. Missouri. Is open. Who else you think? Prove it's safe. So what's interesting is both Vandy and uh, uh, South Carolina had mm-hmm. given votes of confidence mm-hmm. to Mason and Muschamp. Mm-hmm. I'd fire their asses, especially Mason. Me Mason's awful. And he pissed me off with the whole thing post yeah. uh, the Missouri. Missouri it's yeah. like, congrats, you beat a team that fired its coach. And you're like, I'm the man for the job. You're 3-30 and 30 in the SEC. You suck shit. You should you should resign because you're so bad. So all three of those schools that you mentioned, so Arkansas, Missouri, and Vanderbilt, for that matter, I think you're going to have to get not gimmicky, but you're going to have to think way outside the box. Yes, yeah, you're not going to recruit have the athlete. No recruit base. You're not recruiting the athlete to, to compete. So like a guy like Willie Fritz at Tulane, like that's had success everywhere he's been. Not, not saying he's the guy, but like it's going to take like Lane Kiffin. Somebody that's our boy at Washington State, Mike Leach. I'd hire Kiffin in a heartbeat. Yeah. Kiffin or Leach at any of those schools in a heartbeat. Would Leach leave Washington State for Vanderbilt? Probably not. I bet he would for Arkansas. Arkansas, no doubt. The the it's he wouldn't for Missouri. He's in a remote part of Washington. Yeah, like he'd go to Arkansas and rec- he pro- he recruited he already recruited at Texas Love Tech. It. He recruited Texas and North Louisiana and Arkansas and Oklahoma. I mean, that's he'd be great there. He'd yeah. go recreate Texas Tech at Arkansas, yeah. and he'd go nine and three, eight and four, and occasionally he'd pop a ten and two and eleven and one once every ten years. And you go like, oh shit, they might be good. Yeah. But okay, I mean, that's I mean, a no-brainer. If I was Missouri, I'd go get Lane Kiffin. Like 
Would you keep Derek Dooley as your offensive coordinator? Dooley should have never left that. Hey, bro. Well, come on. I mean, Tennessee comes knocking, I come hear you. But I'd go try to get my job back if I was him because he was a god there and he could have gone down like his dad in Athens and fucking rusting. Yeah. He was the AD there, too. He was the AD, the AD head football head coach. coach. Um, Arkansas is interesting to me because they got so many resources. So much resources. They got everything that but, every big time school has. But it's so but the recruiting hard, it's base. so hard to recruit nationally now. Yeah. You know, because everybody's on T V. Yeah. yeah. That's why Notre Dame struggles, right? Man. Notre Dame's advantage forever was they had great tradition and were on T V every week. Yep. And so they could go they could go to Washita and get Jamie Spencer. Right. Yeah. Because they were Notre Dame. Now it's like, who gives a shit? Yeah. ULM's on TV every week. Right? Yeah. I mean, if you want to see them, they're there. It's just not a big deal anymore. So, I don't know, man. Like, Arkansas's got a big hill to climb, man, but you get the right coach. I think Leach would be a great a great hire. I don't want him to hire him. Right. A- every league needs its, its yeah. doormat. Keep him like, relevant. Keep hi- him please relevant. hire Barry Lunny, but I'll tell you this much, Every too. dolphin needs a whale. But I'll tell you this much. The other part of it, too, is like guys like Barry Odom, who was the sentimental favorite, who was the interim, who the players wanted. Like, he's a, a modern age Mike Archer, you know, sentimental interim DC. Yeah. But yeah, it's like. He's a Missouri guy, too, wasn't he? Archer? No, no, no. Uh, Missouri. Oh, Odom, yeah. Yeah, Odom. Yeah, Odom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's. Like, it It goes to show you, though, Jordy, how, how rare it is what Ed Ogeron is doing. Like, it is rare that the guy who's not oh, been a successful God, head coach, yeah. who's an interim, who's kind of a sentimental guy, who gets the gig and actually makes it, Dabo, and it, like, yeah. people are recre- are trying to recreate the Dabo Ogeron thing, like... Yeah, yeah, it, don't, it doesn't <laughs> exist. It don't it's exist. like, you gotta realize how... It don't exist. ...how the stars align, man, you know? It's like... There are way more Barry Odoms and Hell yeah. the, the Florida State guy, Odell Haggins, right? Yeah. Players love him. They want him. He kind of took over. Play, like, hire, hire that guy at Florida right. State, Seattle. Welcome guys. to another decade of irrelevance. Right? <laughs> New York, <laughs> welcome. Welcome <laughs> to another decade of irrelevance. Of irrelevance. <laughs> All right, man, sign off. It's a good night to be an LSU fan. Uh What's the uh Courtney Moore said love y'all don't stop. Thank you, Courtney. Love you too. My lift's about to be here, Courtney. Alright, you gotta you gotta ride. Joe Burrow, salute to you, man. What an honor it has been to cover you and watch you play, man. The numbers of this season will live on forever. Is your ride here? It's about to be. Uh two minutes. Alright, two minutes. Um hit the share. Uh, shout out to David Richardson. Shout out to David Richardson. Tagged in the post. Please like David's page. Uh, Tigers win 50-7. to seven. Aggies, here comes 50 right up your donkey. <laughs> Seeing College Station next year, bitches. Um, and hopefully with a whole bunch of bling bling in tow. Yeah, so that way... Get that natty, man. If you get us next year in College Station, we we'll won't really care. One more flag flying above. We'll be like, hey, yeah, come see our flag. Like the one you haven't won one since like the 30s. Ugh. Aggies. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. And I really hate you. Whiskey, why I hate you too. <laughs> don't, don't listen to Off the Bench ever. It is the worst show, mostly because of T Bob, who Most- sucks. T Bob is the worst. I cannot believe he's got a job. Fire T-Bob. Hashtag fire T-Bob. All right, see y'all. See See y'all. Hashtag peace out. Share it. Like and share. Like and share. David Bruce. Like and share. Like and share.